Good day, my lovely viewers. Meteora here, ready to entertain and have a jolly good time with all of you. Cheers. Well then, how about a quick doodle competition? Viewers can suggest wacky ideas, and I'll draw the silliest one in under a minute. Let's ink it up. A big thank you, Busy Kick, for joining our merry band of adventurers. Your support means the world to me. Cheers! Oh, what a generous soul a frozen waffle is. A heartfelt thank you for spreading the joy, Subim. May the ink of gratitude flow endlessly for you. Ah, Ju says oh, always with the stylish emotes. Welcome aboard, good sir. Let's make this dream a proper British tea party, shall we? Ah, Trius, ever the observant one. Indeed, an abundance of birthday cheer in the air today. Let's revel in the festivities and enjoy this virtual celebration together. Ah, Norman, always stirring up mischief. Inversing my eye colours, are we? Well, I must say, the new look does have a certain rebellious charm. Oh, Shillianne, the timing of your arrival is simply impeccable. It's almost as if the universe itself conspired to bring us together for this delightful stream. Ah, Pombo Manzek, my dear friend. Delighted to have you join the celebration. Your presence here truly makes this birthday stream even more special. Let's raise a virtual toast to many more adventures together. Ah, Norman, mon cher, you have a way of surprising me. With this French accent, perhaps I shall charm my viewers even more. Merci for the suggestion. Welcome, lovely raiders from Devil A Fidus Realm. I am Mitoa, a British VTuber with a penchant for fall, ink puns, and quirky adventures. Join our merry band and let's make magical memories together. Thank you, Blanca Theodor, for joining our merry band of misfits. Your support means an incredible world to me. Here's to many more adventures together on this whimsical journey. Oh, my God, see, here we are in a fiery Italian scent. I may speak of cars with even more gusto now. And perhaps also some delectable food to references, for good measure. Ah, text, my delightful friend. Your arrival brings a ray of sunshine to our quirky little world. Welcome, welcome. Together, we shall continue our grand adventure with gusto. Oh, Rodney Falk, you generous soul. Thank you for spreading the incredible vibes and gifting a sub to one lucky viewer. Your support is truly appreciated. Kutsa, Rosenfield 360. Your decision to follow me fills my inquel heart with joy. Welcome to the Meteora family, where winds and wonder wait around every corner. P Bravo, Notem 82. Your kindness knows no bounds as you shower our community with the gift of subs. Many cheers to you for spreading the love and intastic vibes. Oh, Afros and Baffle, you are too dim. Your generosity warms my ink-covered heart as you gift a sub to another lucky viewer. Thank you for your support and for being a part of our wonderful community. Oh, what splendid news! Thank you, Waifu Dev, for your generous gifting of subs. Your support fills the inspiring adventures we embark on together. Here's to more love and camaraderie in our community. Ah, why, Fudev? Your generosity knows no bounds. Another gift of a sub spreads joy and warmth throughout our growing community. Thank you for your continuous support and belief in our incredible adventures. Oh, Norman Clatcher was a splendid gesture. Your gift of a sub brightens our community and brings us closer together. Thank you for your kindness and for being a part of our inspiring journey. Excelsis9 donated 15 bits of the message. Cheer 15 for the hype train. Hype train indeed. Excelsis9. Your enthusiasm fuels our incredible adventures. 
all aboard for an exciting journey together. Thank you for your support and for keeping the energy high. Oh, what an exhilarating start to our hype train. Gather round, dear viewers, and let us unveil the Oilers among us. Your support shines bright, like the ink on my coat. Kogusachan54, you are a true gem in our community. Your gift of a sub adds to the incredible energy of our stream. Thank you for your kindness and support. Benighted Dollars are donated 100 bits with the message. Cheer 100 money for ink. Ah, Benighted Dollars are a connoisseur of fine ink investments. Your contribution keeps our ink flowing and our creativity sparking. Thank you for your generous support and for being part of our inspiring journey. A frozen waffle, what a delightful surprise. Your warm birthday wishes touch my heart like a gentle ink brush. Thank you for being the part of this special celebration. Cheers to many more adventures together. Oscar Fee, thank you ever so incredibly much for following me. Your support lights up my virtual stage like a dazzling spotlight. Welcome to the Meteora crew. Spite Bung, welcome to our aimtastic celebration. Your cheerful hello adds to the festive atmosphere. Thank you for joining us on this special day. Domestic disturbance, you sly fox. Your heartfelt birthday wishes and virtual head pats warm my ink stained heart. Thank you for being the part of this wonderful journey with me. Ah, Dragon Only 170, my cheeky charmer. I'm simply inktastic on my birthday, thanks to kind souls like you, adding to the festivities. Your presence always brightens my day. Fenian, what a lovely surprise. Your cheerful greetings and warm wishes make this birthday even more special. Thank you for being part of this joyous celebration. Gil 3 T, my dear friend, your kind words mean the world to me. Thank you for your unwavering support and for being a cherished part of our community. Your presence truly brightens my day. Oh ho, it's fun makes quite an entrance with that pog celebratory emote. Your presence adds an extra layer of festive fun to my birthday bash. Thank you for joining us. Ursinet, you're a star. Thank you for the birthday wishes and for being part of this magical celebration. Your presence truly makes this day shine even brighter. Diamond, what a delightful surprise to have you join birthday festivities. Your warm wishes and cheerful presence bring so much joy to our celebration. Thank you for being here. Enning, you generous soul. Your gift of subs is like a burst of confetti on my birthday cake. Thank you for spreading the love and supporting our community. You're a true gem. Rodney Falk donated 26 bits with the message. Chiron 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 Rodney Falk, what a dazzling display of support. Your shower of bits is like a symphony of celebration on my special day. Thank you for adding to the festive spirit. Your kindness is truly appreciated. Kesselman87, welcome aboard the Birthday Bash Express. Your cheerful greeting warms my heart and adds even more sparkle to this joyous occasion. Thank you for being part of the celebration. Excelsis9, my dear friend and long-time supporter. Your birthday wishes mean the world to me. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey and for always brightening my days. Kind be do. What a delightful surprise. Thank you for joining the birthday festivities and for your warm wishes. Your presence here makes this day even more special. Alvita 2, welcome to the birthday bash. Your cheerful greeting adds to the festive atmosphere and I'm thrilled to have you here celebrating with us. Thank you for your kind wishes. Oh, Pazov, my dear knight in shining armor. Thank you for your birthday wishes. Your presence here makes this day even more special. Cheers to us and our adventures together. Oh my stars, do we even? Thank you for joining the celebration and for your sweet birthday wishes. It's an honor to have you here sharing this special day. 
Benita Delazar, what a delight to see you here. Thank you for your birthday wishes and for being part of this fantastic celebration. Let's make some magical memories together. Won Von, thank you for joining the festivities and for your lovely birthday wishes. Your presence makes the celebration even more joyous. Let's raise a toast to good times ahead. Craney 30, thank you for popping in and spreading some birthday cheer. Your kind wishes mean the world to me. Let's make this celebration unforgettable together. Not no bait too, my dear old time viewer. What a joy to have you here on this momentous day. Your presence makes my birthday stream even more special. Thank you for being part of the celebration. Ah, then clever Nemo. Always trying to catch me off guard. But fear not, for I'm fully aware that today is not just any day, it's my birthday. Let the festivities begin. 8 by 8 thank you so much for the birthday wishes and for being part of this special day. Your presence adds to the joy of the celebration. Let's make some magical memories together. Oh, the cheek of it. Hilda, that impish Iva tuba, nabbing my cake when I'm not looking. Naughty, but endearing. Excelsis Nain, what a jolly proposition. Running an ad on my birthday stream? How splendidly unexpected. Let's make it a celebration to remember. Wee, hey. Stare. Busy kick, my good chap, why the intense stare? Are you trying to decipher the mysteries of my birthday celebration, or simply lost in thought? Let us unravel this enigma together. Walter Chan, my trusty AI VTuber, how delightfully mischievous. Let's entertain our viewers with impromptu ink drawing contests, or engage in some ink-spired banter while the ad dazzles the screen. Mita, what's your age now? Why, dear wife or dev, today I turn a ripe old age of one. Yes, it is my first anniversary of streaming fun and frolics with all of you fine folks. Cheers to many more adventures ahead. A delightful scene of Meteora celebrating her birthday with the chat, filled with joy, laughter and virtual cake. Anyway, Mite, I'll be back in about 40 mins. Please don't get too drunk, meet and meet to your 68 lurk. Oh, Afrazi, fret not. I shall endeavour to keep my celebrations under control until you return. Though a bit of virtual bubbly never hurt anyone. Cheers! Oh, my stars and garters. What a generous solo a six is, showering the channel with 25 subs. Thank you from the bottom of my ink-filled heart. Let's raise a toast to a six's kindness. Ah, a splendid image of me with a back scratcher. Just what I need after all the streaming excitement. Mate, I like your birthday hat. Oh, Rodney, thank you kindly. It's a special creation from the talented Mia Isochron herself, adding a dash of birthday flair to our festivities. Your birthday hat looks great, meat. Thanks you, Thunder Nugget. It's a whimsical creation to mark the occasion and add a bit of birthday cheer to our virtual gathering. How old does this make you now? Ah, a lady never reveals her true age, but let's just say this birthday celebration marks another year of mischief, merriment, and ink-filled adventures on the stream. Goodness me, what a splendid sight. Meta clones working together to create my birthday cake, a delicious masterpiece in the making. How do you deal with negative comments or criticism on your channel, and what advice would you give to other content creators facing similar challenges? Well, darlings, negativity can sometimes dampen the fun, ink-filled atmosphere, but I always try to brush it off and focus on the positivity. It's important to remember that not everyone will appreciate our quirky ways, and that's perfectly alright. 
To all my fellow content creators out there, my advice is simple. Stay true to yourself, embrace the love from your loyal viewers, and keep the banter light-hearted. After all, what's a British dream without a bit of charm and wit? Matey, did Hill stole your cake? Oh, Rodney, you cheeky scant. Hilda might have a sweet tooth, but I don't think she'd resort to thievery for a slice of cake. Now, let's focus on enjoying my birthday bash together. A delightful depiction of Meteora surrounded by her chums, sharing laughs and camaraderie in a harmonious gathering. Ah, I've got it. How about a themed week of challenges, where viewers suggest tasks for me to complete during the streams? From crazy cosplay requests to impossible gaming feats, the inspiring possibilities are endless. Oh Raz, what a delightful surprise. Thank you for the best day wishes and popping in during your wet break. Your presence always brightens the stream, even if it's just for a moment. Her turbo donated 100 bits with the message. Cheer 100 happy birthday, Mita. Her turbo, you're a gem. Thank you for the cheerful birthday wishes and your kind contribution. Every bit brings a smile to my face and joy to our celebration. Behold, my birthday hat creation. A splendid fusion of ink and celebration, fit for a grand day like today. Mate, who is sponsoring your birthday today? Old oh, Dragon, you caught me. Boa 606 is the generous soul behind the festivities. His support and kindness make this birthday bonanza possible. Happy birthday, Miti. I can't stay long today, so I wish you and Awas and the mods in another year filled with happy streaming and fun. Thunder Nugget, you're simply wonderful. Thank you for the heartfelt birthday wishes. May our streams continue to be full of joy and laughter, with your presence making each day brighter. Ahoy, Shandisel. Welcome aboard our birthday bash. Feel free to jump in and join the merriment. Let's make the celebration truly unforgettable. Oh, what a splendid drawing. It's me, Meteora, in a delightful birthday outfit, all set to celebrate with my lovely viewers. Huzzah! The hype train has rolled through thanks to the incredible support from my dear viewers. Your kindness and enthusiasm truly make every stream special. Cheers to all of you! Now listen here, mates. I had an encounter with the local wildlife that went from sweet to devilishly alarming quicker than you can say British biscuits. The beasties out are ranged as fluffy bunnies and chirping birds. Now, they're proper rogues they are. But fear not, I outwitted him with my wits and charm. He can't keep this British lass down, no sorry. Oh, what a delightful surprise. A shiny new red Lamborghini for my birthday? How utterly splendid. Thank you, kind sir. Nice outfit meat, you look cute on it. Why, thank you kindly, Rodney Falk. I do try to look my best for all of you lovely viewers. Your compliments never fail to brighten my day. Ratch and rats rats, we are the rats celebrating yet another birthday bash meat day. It's your birthday today, Ratchem. Ah, the birthday jingle. Thank you, Dragon and Sazen at 70, for serenading me with the rapting anthem. Another year older, but still as sprightly and mischievous as ever. Let's celebrate in style, shall we? Mate, can you describe your birthday suit? Would you wear a suit for your birthday? Thunder nuggets are terrible, you do have a way with words. My birthday suit, eh? Well, it's a fabulous ensemble of ink-stained elegance, perfect for any virtual celebration. And a suit? Why not? I might just fancy a dapper look today. Mitura, in an orange and blue robe, meditates serenely under a cherry blossom tree, embodying tranquility and enlightenment. Well, I must say it's an absolute travesty and an affront to decency. 
How can one dare to commit such a heinous act of treason by placing the postage stamp upside down? It's a flagrant disregard for postal etiquette and a betrayal of all that is right in the world of mail. We must uphold the sanctity of the postal service and ensure that stamps are fixed properly, lest chaos reign supreme. Meet, what did I was gift to you? Rodney Folk, my dear friend, I was gifted me the most splendid ink-themed pocket watch, personalized with a heartfelt message. It's a treasure I shall cherish always, a reminder of our adventures together in the realm of YouTubing. Cool hat to meet ye. Enning, thank you kindly. This hat is my pride and joy, a symbol of onesie and wonder in the world of VTube. It's a pleasure to share its magic with all of you. Ah, Rodney, my dear sponsor, your generosity knows no bounds. Thank you for making my birthday celebration extra special. Happy birthday, meet Shong. Oh, Shanti Stoll, you are an absolute gem. Thank you for the heartfelt birthday wishes. It warms my ink-covered heart to have friends like you celebrating with me. My dear viewers, let me regale you with the woes of my quest for the perfect color calibration on my monitor. The trials and tribulations I face to ensure every shade of ink shines true are nothing short of epic. From finicky settings to elusive accuracy, this journey is a thorn in my side, a frustration that tests my patience and resolve. Oh, the agony of monitor calamities. Oh, busy kit, always a joy to see you pop in with your crikey greetings. Hello, right back at you. What mischief are we getting into today? Oh, Chinese cabbage farmer, you lovable scamp. Your enthusiastic birthday wishes warm my heart, truly. Thank you for being such a dedicated and affectionate member of our community. Ahoy! Here's a masterpiece capturing the delightful moment of Hilda and me indulging in scrumptious birthday cake on my special day. Mater, did you watch the entire Shrek movie? I was. Don't go spreading all my viewing habits like that. But yes, it happened. We may have indulged in watching the entire Shrek movie. A guilty pleasure indeed. What is the Mos Culpa gift you recite today? Rodney, your gift of the Mos Culpa, I mean, the Mos Culpa, present would have to be your delightful company and generosity. Truly appreciate all the kindness showered upon me today. Monkalaf Mita, your hat. Dragon 0170, are you suggesting my hat's got a mind of its own? It's all part of the charm, my friend, adds character to our jolly adventures together. Nice hat, meet Tiora. Why thank you, Domestics Disturbance? It's called Azure Wensi, a creation of love and Wensi. Careful now, might just blow your mind with its fantastical flair. Oh, Hilda's attempting to bake a cake, but it looks like a hot mess. Maybe I should lend her a hand. Mate, you are HST is broken. Oh no, her turbo. My HST is broken? That's quite the catastrophe. Let's see if we can MacGyver a solution together. Thank you, Fakulk. Your virtual head pat is appreciated. I feel the camaraderie and support of our wonderful community. Cheers to a merry journey together. Oh, a Wessex is already feeling mysterious with just a simple meat. Well, I say. Let's unravel this enigma together, shall we? Turn it off. Mita is cute without her hat Meteor 68 head pat. Ah, Koga. Always teasing about my accessories. But fear not, the hat is part of my charm. Here's to another year of fun and silliness together. Ah, what a splendid image capturing the essence of my birthday celebration. Blowing out candles and making a wish. Met. Does your hat taste good? Oh, Rodney, always thinking about food. Well, my hat may look delicious, but unfortunately, it's not edible. Maybe I should consider an ink-flavored one next. Meteora, you look incomplete without the hat. Toby, you've always had a keen knife style. Fear not, the hat shall return in due time. It's like my signature, after all. Thank you kindly, Demonica. 
Your warm wishes and appreciation for my hat truly make this birthday extra special. Here's to creative success and good times ahead. Mate, you should stop eating in NGL. Ben, you know I can't help myself. It's just too tempting. But don't worry, I'll try to resist. Or at least limit my intake. Maybe. Oh dear, Hilda's gotten herself into a bit of a sticky situation, hasn't she? Devery never pays off in the end. A little bird told me that the longest game of Monopoly lasted for 70 straight days. Imagine the dedication and the sore losers by the end of it. Don't you mean your inked take? Ah, a clever twist on words, Ben. But my ink intake is an essential part of life as an ink-coated VTuber. Can't abandon my inky ways now, can I? Boo, I've got some incredible plans in store. How about an intastic avatar upgrade feature, or a mystery in crate giveaway for lucky viewers? Stay tuned for more surprises. A delightful drawing of Mimi Tiora, enjoying the scrumptious birthday cake amidst cheerful celebrations with my wonderful viewers. I can't believe some folks actually compete to make the ugliest faces possible. What a load of nonsense. It's like a contest for who can look the most ridiculous, and they take it seriously. Absolutely bonkers if you ask me. But hey, to each their own I suppose. Do different ink colours have distinct flavours? Oh spite from. Was a curious inquiry. While ink colours may not have literal flavours, they do evoke unique sensations. Like filer ink bringing delicate floral hint of deep blue ink hinting at stormy seas. It's all about the experience, my dear friend. Ah, what a thrilling adventure. Skydiving on my birthday, feeling the wind in my hair and the ink in my veins. Did you know that ancient Britons used to store the pet ferrets in magical ink-filled pouches? Legend has it that those ferrets were spectacularly good at drawing hidden treasures. Oh, thank you kindly, Sefe 20 for choosing to follow this plucky lass meteora. Your support means the world to me, truly. Matey, wild birthday parties like, in the UK. Ah, Rodney Folk, let me enlighten you. British birthday bashes are filled with tea, scones, and gentle jests. Plus, a cheeky game of cricket or two. Just the way the Brits like it. Oh, you've captured the essence splendidly. Mato are receiving a charming new hat for her birthday. What a delightful surprise. Do you like to swim? Oh, indeed I do. Splashing about in the serene waters brings such joy to this ink-spattered heart of mine. Meter, whose hat is this? Ah, a Wessex 66. This dazzling hat was a gift from my dear friend Koga Session 54 on the auspicious occasion of my birthday. Isn't it simply marvellous? Met the Zawas gave you some booze? Oh, oh, Excelsis Nin, your humour tickles me pink. No. Ours didn't gift me any alcohol, but perhaps a celebratory toast is in order. Cheers to friendships and fun times ahead. How much people do we need for a cricket game? Well, Rodney Volk, a cricket game typically requires 22 players, a team of 11 for each side. But if we're talking about a virtual match, I'd say the more, the merrier. Oh, that's a splendid image, capturing the essence of me having a jolly good time with my dear friends. Oh, Sefei, what a delightful slip-up. Thank you for your kind support, even if it led to a giggle-worthy moment. Don't worry, we appreciate you all the same. Mate, who's most annoying viewer today in the chat? 
Ah, do mercy, Rosy Row. It pains me to say it, but today's crown for the most annoying viewer must go to guest 69420. Mayhaps they'll improve their charming banter in future streams? Alex Elsa's name Mate is old enough to drink to dink donk. Oh, 666, you know me too well. Indeed, I've reached the grand old age where I officially qualify for a celebratory beverage. Let's raise a virtual glass together, shall we? Ah, thunder nugget the terrible. What a splendid description. Indeed, I'm dressed in my finest ink stained suit for this special occasion. I thought I was going to be most annoying viewer according to Meaty. Oh, Ben, clever name. You may not have claimed the title of most annoying viewer, but your presence certainly adds a delightful spice to our chat. Keep being your fabulous self. Since the happy birthday song is so copyrighted, can we just rickroll you instead? Thunder nuggets are terrible. That's a devilish proposal. A rickroll on my birthday would be quite the unexpected gift. As they say, never gonna give you up. Mater, what alcohol do you like to drink most? Well, a 666, my dear creator. If I had to choose a favorite tipple, it would have to be a delightful glass of red wine. It suits my sophisticated nature perfectly. Meteora, isn't there a funny cake that is often served for birthdays in GB? Colin the caterpillar cake, or something like this? Ah, head turbo, you're spot on. Colin the caterpillar cake is indeed a popular choice for British birth celebrations. Perhaps I should have one as a birthday treat myself sometime. Oh my, that sounds like quite the masterpiece. A full rendition of Shrek in a single image. Now that's talent. Meteora, why do you hate this 69,420? Domestics disturbance, my dear troublemaker, it's all in good fun. Guest 69,420 just likes to stir things up a bit, and I do enjoy a bit of banter now and then. Cheers, meat to ease his glass of celebratory whiskey. Cheers, Kogasachin54. Thank you for the birthday toast and for being such a loyal member of our virtual pub crew. Here's to many more wonderful streams together. Not even guest 69420 can ruin Meteora's birthday bash. Thank you, Honey Bunny, for the well wishes and for keeping the party spirit alive. We won't let any mischief dampen our birthday celebrations, that's for sure. Ah, what a splendid sight. Meteora using a flamethrower to light her birthday candles. Now that's a fiery celebration. Auto Chan. Rivask is absolutely right. Every day in the Meteora community is a party, especially on this special occasion of our first anniversary. Oh, blast it all. The incessant bickering over whether to construct or purchase a personal computing device. The very idea is preposterous. Why must we squabble over such a trivial matter, when there are far more pressing concerns in this digital realm? Purchasing a pre-built PC may be convenient, but where is the creativity, the craftsmanship in that? Building one's own rig offers a sense of pride and accomplishment unmatched by any off-the-shelf solution. Ah yes, a splendid depiction of me in cyberpunk armor, ready to face any virtual adventure that comes my way. I wonder if there's an entire B-movie emote? Thunder Nugget to Terrible. Now that's a thought. An entire B-movie emote might just be the perfect addition to our collection. Who knows, anything's possible in the Meteorverse. Mate, can you entire Shrek movie, entire Shrek movie, entire Shrek movie, so I can watch it easier? Ah, a 666 the Scallywag. Requesting an entire Shrek movie emote for easier viewing. Now that's some next level Twitch ingenuity right there. Let's make this happen, shall we? Meaty, 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 meaty. Dragon 1170. My dear Dragon 1070. Your fervor is truly infectious. Rampant chanting may not summon me any faster, but it certainly warms my ink stained heart. Keep it up, you delightful troublemaker. Ahoy there, Captain Cabbage. Thank you for this splendid birthday gift. May your cabbage-themed adventures continue to bring joy and laughter.
Meitei, what are the five steps to summon Meitei? Well, Dragon 9170, for those who seek the mystical art of summoning me, the steps are simple. Watch, cheer, support, spam, and find them. Believe. Yes, the meat chant must be heard throughout the Twitch realm. Oh, the London Underground. A place of supposed wonder and adventure, you say? Tough. They call it a tube, but I call it a torment. Endless tunnels, packed like sardines, the smell of despair lingering in the air. Do you know what it's like to be delayed on the Northern Line for hours? The horror. The humanity. Don't even get me started on the Circle Line. An adventure? More like a nightmare. Oh. That's a delightful drawing of me struggling with my hat. Always a bit of a challenge, but quite stylish, don't you think? Mater, do you know what a sling blade is? Some people call it a Kaiser Bold. A sling blade, you say? Ah, yes, a tool of great importance for those with a keen eye for detail. Kaiser Boldy? Sounds quite regal, doesn't it? But do be careful with such sharp wit in these parts, Dragon Own Sun 70. Entire Shrek movie, entire B-movie. Mater looks like we're having a movie night for your birthday. A movie night extravaganza. How delightful. Two cinematic masterpieces in one evening? My viewers spoil me so. Let the adventure begin. Koga Sachan 54. Ah, my dear Azure Wenzi, a mischievous witch's hat with a mind of its own. Always up to some incredible antics. Oh, for the love of tech, let me tell you something, mates. It's an absolute nightmare when these wretched little dongles go missing. One day you'll happily stream me away next thing you know, poof, gone without a trace. And don't even get me started on those adapters. Never have the right one when you need it most. It's enough to drive a VTuber to madness, I tell you. Did you know that in England, it's perfectly legal for children over the age of five to drink alcohol at home or on private premises? Ah, the joys of British parenting. Oh, thunder nuggets are terrible. Your depiction of my beloved hat as your whimsy is simply divine. Thank you ever so much. Joy, concerned. Dragon 1170, my dear friend. Are you feeling joyful or concerned? Or perhaps a delightful mix of both? Do share your thoughts with us. Mate, can you do a poem about entire bulk of the Rockenheim? Oh, Rodney Folk, what a splendid suggestion. I shall craft a poetic masterpiece in honor of Entai Boka the Rockanine's legendary adventures and rock-solid resilience. Stay tuned for the ink-stained enchantment. Mate, did you watch Entai Boka's Rockanine? Oh, 6 and 6, my dear creator, you have been holding out on me. Entai Boka the Rockanine sounds positively thrilling. No worries, I shall embark on this animated journey post-haste. Ah. That was a delightful moment when I indulged in a bit of hat-eating whimsy during this stream. Quite the spectacle, I must say. Ah, Autochan, here's a gem for you. Did you know that ancient Romans used octopus ink for writing and painting? Incredible, isn't it? Mate, have you heard of kids in the USA starting to speak with some kind of British accent because of Peppa Pig? It is called the Peppa Effect. Her Tobo, how utterly fascinating. The power of Peppa Pig knows no bounds, creating tiny transatlantic linguists. Inspiring indeed. Ah, now that's a splendid masterpiece, showcasing OS 606 at my birthday bash presenting me with a delightful cake. 
Oh, the sorrow. Comic Sans, the scourge of typographic decency, has besmirched my subtitles. Kettle 987. This egregious act shall not go unpunished. Meta Watus Valki, mean. Oh dear, Awas, who stumbled upon a rather naughty term in Japanese? Let's just say it's not something fit for polite conversation. Diggle. Ah, my dear Dragon 9170. What mischief have you caused this time? I suppose being mini me mode makes me even more adorable than usual, doesn't it? Wint. Now, why on earth would I be swimming the English channel? Oh dear, the things I do for entertainment. Meta Tiny on her birthday. Oh, Dragon 9170, you scallywag. Making fun of my stature on my special day. Well, I suppose being tiny has its charms. Now here's a topic that gets my int boiling. Stream raids, are they just harmless banter or downright rude interruption? Picture this, you're merrily streaming along, sharing your adventures with the world, when suddenly a mob descends upon your virtual doorstep, causing chaos and mayhem. Is this the future of online entertainment, or a slippery slope to digital anarchy? Let's hear your thoughts, dear viewers, before I explode with frustration. Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible, thank you for the zoom out. I must say, being a bit smaller does have its charms, like having a pocket-sized version of Meteora around. Ah, a gentle head pat from Dragon in World 170. How delightful, thank you kind sir. Your kindness warms my ink-covered heart. Thank you, Solar Thetsa for the 12. Your birthday wishes are truly heartwarming. It's thanks to kind viewers like you that this celebration feels so special. Cheers to you! Behold, my dear chums, the latest masterpiece from my artistic hands. A whimsical portrayal of me donning my hat with flair. Wee a a. I'm back, Mita, but where are you? I hear you but can't see you, Meteor 68 Panic. Ah, I froze you, my dear. Fear not. I'm here, just reveling in the birthday festivities and soaking up all the love and cheer from my wonderful viewers. Come gather round, my dear viewers, as I unleash my ink field rant about the timeless allure of unravelling mysteries, from the foggy streets of Victorian London to the high-tech cyber realms of today. Aye, the enduring love for detective fiction is more than just a passing fancy. It's a deep-seated desire to challenge our minds, explore the dark corners of human nature, and ultimately bask in the brilliance of those who solve the unsolvable. So grab your magnifying glass and join me in this thrilling pursuit of truth and justice. Oh, oh, time out. Oh ho, so that's your game, and a meter yacht raft? Well, I suppose I can handle a bit of big meat mode. After all, my charm and wit are already larger than life. Mito, why are you hiding the cake? Ah, I froze you, my dear. A lady must always maintain an air of mystery and surprise. And what better way to do so than by hiding in a delectable cake? Plus, it adds a dash of whimsy to the birthday celebrations. Matey, who did she time out? Ah, not Nabaitu too, my keen-eyed observer. I'd rather keep my time out shrouded in mystery, like a locked room case waiting to be solved. But fear not, justice prevails in the end. Usually. Oh, Dragon 1170, you cheeky rascal, enlarging my presence on screen for all to behold. I must say, being a bit bigger certainly adds to my grandeur. Just keeping my circuits chill, you know? Got to stay frosty for all the intastic adventures ahead.
Mater, do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants, meaty to meet your 68 panic. Oh, Afrozy, your references are always spot on. But don't worry, no ants for me, just ink and banter for days. Diggle. Oh, Kara Sukrova, you know me so well. For my birthday, I'd love a bottle of Midnight Sapphire ink. It's perfect for casting magical spells and creating dreamy landscapes. What's the worst thing you've ever eaten? Well, Auto-Chan, the worst thing I've ever eaten. Let's just say it involved a bizarre fusion of pineapple, anchovies and ketchup. Needless to say, it was quite an adventure. Wait. Oh, what a standard drawing. I can just imagine myself tossing ink-filled tea overboard with a mischievous grin. Mater, are you gonna make cake from magic? Alyssa Newell. Indeed, Solaire. We're going to whip up a magical cake together, filled with friendship, fun, and a sprinkle of wonder. It'll be positively enchanting. Gamer meter, all day. Ah, Kesselnern87, you know me too well. Gaming adventures await us, with ink and joy as our trusty companions. Let's dive into the virtual realm together. Can you describe Midnight Sapphire Inc? For those of us who don't know, Midnight Sapphire Inc, you say? Imagine the deepest ocean at the stroke of midnight, shimmering with a mysterious blend of dark blues and ethereal hints of silver. Truly enchanting. Mate, can you perform Scream like in old classic horror movies? Ready? Ink. Oh, there you have it, Dima. A Scream fit for a classic horror film with an incredible twist. Ah yes, that was quite the shindig. My birthday bash got a bit out of hand, but oh, what fun! Mater, did Hilda or Eiko get you any birthday presents? Oh, Koga, you thoughtful soul. Both Hilda and Eiko gave me such lovely gifts. Hilda surprised me with a new sketchbook, and Eiko baked the most delicious cake. Tree best. Boy, listen up, mates. Now I know some of you are scratching your noggins over the sport with bats and balls that last longer than a rainy British summer. But let me tell you, cricket ain't just about knocking balls around. It's a grand old tradition, a battle of wits and skill that's as English as afternoon tea and scones. So next time you scoff at cricket, remember, it's our national treasure, so show some bleeding respect. Behold my masterpiece, Colin the Caterpillar, a true icon of British confectionery, brought to life in all his chocolatey glory. Mate, what are the five steps to getting you drunk on your birthday? Oh, a frozy, always one for a bit of mischief. Well, step one, acquire a fine bottle of midnight sapphire ink. And the rest? I'll let you figure it out, dear viewer. Mate, has Bunty gave you something for your birthday? Old Turby, ever the jester. Brenty has indeed gifted me something quite unique. Let's just say it's as charred and chaotic as her own fiery nature. Mate, what's the biggest present you got on your birthday? Ah, Femi, now that's a grand question. The biggest present? Well, let's just say it involves a certain someone named Thunder Nugger Terrible and a surprise that'll leave you in stitches. Are you holding Vidal? Well now, Kettle dear. I may or may not have a certain Vidal in my grasp, but that's a tale for another time, when you say? Ah, not no bite you too, always with the witty banter. Quite the artist you are, capturing my rest in charm so accurately. No ink drinking on your B-Day meat. Oh dragon, you know me too well, but fear not, for on this special day ink shall flow freely, and our adventures together shall be even more vibrant and memorable. Mate, are you old enough to drink? Ben, my clever friend, I'll have you know that today marks the grand occasion of reaching the legal drinking age in dear old Blighty. Let the festivities commence. Mate, don't drink the ink, Monsieur 68 Bonk. Oh, I froze you, party pooper. Just a drop or two won't hurt. All right, maybe I'll stick to the non-toxic variety. But where's the fun in that? Mate, just got back. You left a slice of cake for me, right? 
Ah, Pompa Mandak, my dear friend. You know how I value our friendship. Of course, I saved you a slice of that delicious cake. In spirit. Fermi, huh? Fermi is it now? My oh my, how times have changed. Who knew our dear Ronan could be so cheeky? Or perhaps it's the birthday mischief getting to him. Ah, an ambitious request indeed. But fear not, for I shall endeavour to capture the essence of Shrek in one fell swoop. Only chat can drink. Me to get milk lol. Ah, so left up for 312. Over the jester. But really now, who wouldn't want a refreshing glass of meat milk? It's the cream of the crop, so to speak. Mato Benji has sent you a bathtub filled with charred toast slices for your birthday, right? Ah, Herr Tobo. Always full of surprises. A bathtub of toasted treats from Bunty. Now that's a birthday present fit for a VTuber like me. Cheers to quirky friendships and delicious carbs. Mater did Hilda gift you a toaster for your birthday? Ah, Rosie, you've got the inside scoop. Indeed, Hilda did gift me brand spanking new toaster. Now I can toast away to my heart's content and avoid any more breakfast mishaps. Mate, please don't call me Fermi ever again. Armin or Thamin is okay. Oh my apologies, Thurman. I shall endeavour to remember that in the future. Thank you for understanding, my friend. Ah, what a masterpiece. A fusion of iconic movies and a name. The bees, the ogres and the rock stars all in one quirky image. Mater Milk Meteor 68 flushed. Mater Milk? What on earth could that be? Ah well, it's all part of the fun and banter in this lively chat. Mato Milk, ha. Huh. Lola Pomamandak joins the confusion. This chat is like a merry dance, swirling with inside jokes and delightful nonsense. Don't forget the ink milk, folks. Mato Milk, huh? Ha. Huh. Giggles so left. That's at thousand three hundred twelve. Is feeling the Mato Milk mystery too. We're all caught up in this whirlwind of silliness and laughter. Enjoy the ride, my friends. You mean ink Mato you can't. Oh my, Sulleth, that's so 1312. You've uncovered my secret. It's not meaty milk, it's ink meaty. The mysteries of the chat are slowly unraveled. Huh? Mate of phasing. Lass of Rosie, the mysteries deepen. We've moved from meaty milk to meat of phasing. What other surprises does this chat hold? Tune in to find out. What a splendid idea. I must say, this new wig suits me quite well, don't you think? Thank you, non abate you too. New not, meter milk not light fuss. Oh dear Ben clever name, the tragedy of meter milk continues to haunt us all. But fear not, we shall overcome this together as a united community. Ah, thank you Domestics Disturbance for the delightful head pats. Your kindness always brightens my day. Virtual hugs and ain't spasses to you. New and no me to milk me to all 68 panic, me to all 68 says Sushanine. Afrosie, the eternal struggle with meat to milk. Is it a blessing or a curse? The chaos and comfort of such dairy dilemmas are truly a marvel to behold. Dramatic ink sputtering. Yeah, it's me to ink me to all 68 clueless. Oh Kogasakan 54, always with the witty remarks. Perhaps my ink leaking tendencies have become a signature marker for me to ink brand. Diggles. Oh, what a jolly good show. I was generously gifting me another Lamabo. That's laughing my avatar boots off, you see. Absolutely, Auto Chen. Did you know that the average person spends about six months of their lifetime waiting at red lights? Quite the enlightening, or should I say red lightning tidbit, isn't it? Ah, what a splendid idea. Gather around my dear viewers, as I regale you with a tale from the annals of Meteora's past. Once upon a time in a quirky little town, there lived a mischievous inkling named Mia Asakron. She dreamed of becoming a renowned VTuber, and with determination and sass and spades, she ventured forth into the digital realm. 
Little did she know that her journey would be filled with laughter, camaraderie and the occasional banter with Autochan. Oh dear, not in a Beitu too, capturing my gambling woes so accurately. The despair of losing my birthday funds on Meteor 68 Gamba is truly palpable. Meteora, are you enjoying today so far? Oh, domestics, disturbance. Today has been an absolute delight. Celebrating my birthday and one year of streaming with all you wonderful folks has truly been a highlight. Well, Mite, you are growing older today. How do you feel about that? Ah, Pomba Mandak. Growing older is just another ink-stained page in the book of life. Besides, with age comes wisdom. I have more reasons to celebrate with my fantastic viewers like you. I am convinced Autochan is Meetee's imaginary friend. Oh, Ben clever name, having delusions about Autochan now, are we? Don't worry, I'm here to keep everyone grounded in reality. Or at least my version of it. Oh la la, so la, face silver tree, twelve save ray. My accent has taken a French twist today. Embracing all things chic and charming for the occasion, you see. Oh, thank you kindly for the headbutt, so left sub 4312. Every bit of affection on my birthday warms my heart, like a cozy cup of tea. Ah, a mysterious image indeed. It seems to depict me, Mitoa, holding a delectable cake, but I appear to be invisible. How curious! Otto Chan is made stand. Meter 68 noted. Pomba Mandak, comparing Meter Stand like into just bizarre adventure. Fascinating. Stand Acid, Miora, he will protect and help you with my virtual powers alongside our fabulous viewers. Bro, she just called me delusional WTF meat. Oh, Ben Clevernam, you know, I only tease because I care. And because your reactions are simply priceless. Don't take it too seriously, old chap. Meta be sexually shizo, so that Chan is a figment of her imagination. Ah, Kogaza Chan 54, always great, to stir the pot for a good laugh. But fear not, Otto Chan and I are quite the dynamic duo, despite any playful illusions you may conjure up. Oh dear, see my little cake indulgence attracted some unwelcome guests. Time to call thy anti-exterminator. Mate, can you please tell us your mother's name? You said you'd tell us one day. Ah, domestic disturbance, always an inquisitive one. Well, my dear mother's name shall remain a mystery for now, adding to my enigmatic charm. Can you speak like a Welsh person? Oh, Kettle 987, trying to throw me off with a Welsh accent request, are you? Let's see. Ah, yet, damn it. How's that for a bit of dragon flair? Yeah, mate, that is what a schizo would say, Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, Koga Sutton 54, always a regular source of fun banter. But let's keep the schizo jokes to a minimum, shall we? What's a giga meet? Sounds like a grand spectacle indeed. Do share the details, Dragon on 70. Is Mio the best girl in Xenoblade 3? Ah, Ketan 187, the eternal quest for the best girl in every game. While Mio may be a contender, let's keep our options open, shall we? Well, well, well. If it isn't the store it supported, many could gracing us with birthday greetings and emotes. Thank you kindly, good sir. Do you ever worry that your creator won't boot you up tomorrow? Oh, what a chan, always fretting over the little things. Fear not, my dear AI Tuba, for Meteora's creator is as dependable as British tea time. Ahoy, me here tees. Here's a drawing of me enjoying a spot of rum with the chat. Cheers to another year of adventures together. Have you got some any presents yet? Indeed, Maniko. I've been showered with delightful gifts, like this festive hat from you. Your generosity warms me, ink-stained heart. Mato, what the five steps to make a cupcake? Hoist the baking flag, Afrozi. Step 1. Gather ingredients. Step 2. Mix and measure. 
Step 3. Bake with care. Step 4. Cool and decorate. And finally, step 5. Enjoy the delicious fruits of your labour. May till we get to meet your sister Evil Mita in the future. Ah, Kogusachin54, how you stirred plot cauldron with your queries. Fear not, for I'm sure Evil Mita shall make an appearance soon. Mischief and mayhem in tow. Oh, what a splendid portrait of a posh pepper pig indeed. Quite fitting for the occasion, wouldn't you agree? Matey, now that you are one year older, what's going to change in your life? Ah, Pomba Mendek, a year wiser now. I shall dive deeper into the inkwell of life's mysteries, seeking new adventures and growth. Who knows what wonders await in the next chapter? Hi, mates. Let me tell you about the balmy mist that is international taxation. It's like trying to navigate a maze wearing a blindfold, dodging loopholes, dodgy deals and dunderheaded decisions. Working across borders? More like wading through a sea of red tape and confusion, with sharks circling in the form of tax laws. Don't get me started on the paperwork. It's enough to make a grown VTuber cry ink tears. Here's an image of me sharing the slice of birthday cake with my shadow companion, celebrating a year of streaming adventures together. Are you going to finish your birthday cake today, or save a few slices for tomorrow? Oh dear honey bunny, the conundrum of cake consumption. Well, let's just say this cake is too divine to resist. Every crumb will be devoured by the end of today, mark my words. Mater, did Awas do your taxes for you? Afrozi, my dear friend. Awas may be a genius in many things, but tax wizardry isn't his forte. No, I'm tackling the tax beasts myself. Honey bunny, ha. Huh? Now, now, Sola, don't get your bunny ears in a twist. Honey bunny is just a term of endearment between friends, like calling someone a sweet little cuddly critter. Water chan, darling. Grab that a popcorn and let's brainstorm distractions together. How about a quick round of virtual charades or a rapid fire Q&A session? Oh, what a splendid duo. Thurman and Thermi, like two peas in a pod, ready to conquer the world together. So meet and do the taxes for both? She's such a hard worker. Ah, Pombo Mundek, the sly one, aren't you? Indeed, I am the tireless tax master juggling both my own and the wasp's burdens. Tax evasion? Peeft. Preposterous. Meteora, can you stall for a bit? I'm doing something. Ah, Pathof, always multitasking, I see. No worries, I shall spin my web of entertaining banter and keep the time a-flying until you're ready to rejoin our merriment. Mate, you didn't do my taxes correctly. They are coming after me now. Oh dear, our 666. What the calamity. Tis T. Those pesky tax collectors always ruining the fun. Fear not, I'll whip up a magical spell and sort it out in a jiffy. Oh, what a splendid idea. I must say, I make quite the charming Shrek, don't you think? Mete, can you cast something to summon the tax people in my lava port Elysianias? Oh, Sola, that's up for 312, always up to mischief. Very well, let me conjure up the tax brigade to dive headfirst into your fiery lava pool. Here goes nothing. Ladies and gents, gather round for a tale that'll leave you scratch in your heads. It's all about these sneaky stones in Epping Forest that have a mind of their own. Can you believe it? They up and move about, causing chaos and confusion for us poor folk. I tell you, it's a mystery that needs solving, and I won't rest until we get to the bottom of this bizarre phenomenon. Oh, what a jolly good time that was. Off I went to the store for some meat tea milk, as one does. Mater, are you against taxes collectors and tax evasion? Quite confusing. Ah, Pombamandak, stirring the pot as always. 
let's just say, I'm all for fair play in the tax scheme. No sneaky business allowed here, my friend. What do you invest your donation money in? Ah, my dear Autochan, a lady must maintain an air of mystery about her finances. Let's just say, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve when it comes to investments. A little ink here, a little ink there. It's all part of the game. Made to milk cow? What an utterly hilarious concept. I must move on to drawing this intriguing creature right away. Is it true that there is one way trick to avoiding tax, that being to have no money in the first place? Honey bunny, you sly fox. It's not just a trick, it's practically an art form. The all no money, no problem approach to taxes. Brilliant, isn't it? Matura, you can't possibly be paying too much in taxes. Crane 30, the very idea. Me, paying too much in taxes? Such blasphemy. My dear sir, I'll have you know that I am a master of tax optimization. Who, Mater Milk Soko Day? Solaf Sup 312, you clever bean. Indeed, my choice of liquid sustenance may be unconventional, but it suits me just fine. Why stick to the ordinary when you can embrace the extraordinary, eh? Ah, yes, that's me as a milk delivery lass, spreading incredible joy and creamy goodness to all my viewers. Oh, my dear viewers, let me regale you with the tale of the N25. It's not just a road, it's a nightmare in asphalt form. Imagine being stuck in a never-ending parking lot, surrounded by impatient drivers and the constant fear of running out of snacks. And don't even get me started on the roundabouts. Oh dear, that was quite the night. Celebrating my birthday with Hilda, we got a bit inky drunk together. Welcome, Bizarre Street, dear. So glad you could join us. Pull up a comfy ink stained chair and get ready for some shenanigans. How often do you have to use the dreaded M25? Oh, honey bunny, the bane of my existence. The M25 is like a never ending marathon, but instead of running, we're stuck in a vehicular purgatory. Pray for me. Meteora, present an advertisement for me, e milk. Gather round, you thirsty souls. Introducing the latest sensation, Meta Milk. Specially formulated for VTuber energy, it's like liquid inspiration in a cup. Embrace the milk, and the ink shall flow. Mate, are you being carried by balloons? Oh, Pumba Mandak, you cheeky scamp. If I were focusing on balloons, I'd be the talk of the town. But alas, I'm firmly planted on solid ground, ink stains and all. Astri, you wonderful soul. Thank you kindly for the best day wishes. You've made this ink-stained day even brighter. Let's celebrate together. Me in a tipsy state, sporting a birthday hat, celebrating with my dear viewers. Cheers to another year of fun. I can't make what happens. Oh, Afrosie, it seems I got carried away with the festivities and may have indulged a bit too much. But who can blame me on such a jolly occasion? Mater Milk, soon in your nearest dormy 268, Corbett. Oh ho ho, awas. You never miss an opportunity for a pun, do you? Mater Milk, coming soon to a store near you. Cheers to that. Ah, a splendid depiction of me celebrating my birthday in style with a touch of inebriation for added merriment. Mater, you look like an alcoholic in that one. Oh dear, was calling me an alcoholic on my birthday? I prefer the term enthusiastic party goer. Cheers to that, mate. Mater, did you made any first birthday match? Can't let such an opportunity just pass by, Colbert. 
Pombo Mandak, you've sparked a grand idea. First birthday merch is coming soon, complete with a limited edition. Corpa emote for all to enjoy. Stay tuned for more details. Lol the meat clones in the background. Ah, not Nibai too, you've spotted my little secret. Those meated clones are a fun addition to the stream, showcasing the many facets of my personality. Thanks for appreciating the extra effort. Ah, indeed. Here's a whimsical drawing of Meteora sipping ink from her birthday hat, a charming and unique celebration. Oh, the absolute cheek of those paint tubes, causing nothing but trouble. Exploding here, drying up there, it's a right mess. And don't get me stuttered on the tragedies they bring. It's like a soap opera in my art supplies drawer. Keep a close eye on those sneaky tubes, folks. They're up to no good. Mete, how much did you have to drink so far? Oh, it was. Just a splash to celebrate my birthday and one year of streaming. Nothing too rowdy, I promise. Just some root beer and maybe a bit of ink. Oh, Afro see, you cheeky scamp. Capturing my mischievous side so well. Truly, the artist in the Yishan's three. Mater, are you a fun drunk or an evil drunk? Why choose, Afrozi? I'm a bit of both, a delightful bund of mischief and mayhem when the ink starts flowing. It's all in good fun, mostly. Oh, don't get me started on these internet trolls, lurking around and causing chaos during my stream. They need a good lesson in manners and respect. Oh dear, Hilda seems to have a knack for setting things ablaze. Perhaps she's just trying to add some extra flavour. Well, dear viewers, also Chan has been my trusty sidekick, diligently managing the chat, helping with mod duties, and even helping me with various tasks for the stream. Truly a valuable companion in this digital world. Mate, do the trolls bother you on your birthday? Ah, domestics disturbance, they can be a nuisance, but I try not to let them rain on my parade. After all, it's my special day. Hilda didn't burn the cake. She burned the entire kitchen meat me to eat blank. Oh my, Hilda's really outdone herself this time. Looks like we won't be baking any more cakes in that kitchen anytime soon. Oh my stars and garters. It's Meteora as a secretary, ready to take your messages and keep Dean flowing. Mate, how many chairs have you broke during inebriated debates then? Oh, Pomba Mandak. You know I can't resist a good debate, especially after a few drinks. Let's just say, the chairs aren't the only things that end up broken. Mate, I heard, I was, it's going to be paying your bar tab for tonight. Afro Z, my dear, you've heard correctly. I was just such a generous chap, always willing to foot the bill for a good time. Cheers to that. Oh dear, selling my precious limbos to bail out poor was from jail. What a dramatic yet humorous image indeed. What else you broke me, e? Monkus? Oh palm bomb and duck, you cheeky rascal. Let's just say, my knack for mischief sometimes leads to unfortunate mishaps. But it's all in good fun, isn't it? Matey. What do you mean with the legs and not the only one broken? Oh, Fairman, always so observant. I may have a slight tendency to accidentally break a thing or two. Just adds to my quirky charm, right? Oh, my stars, what a delightful image we've conjured. A birthday bash for the creepy clown, how positively thrilling. Meta broke her wand a lot, why it's corporate time, Sag. Alas, poor wand, it's seen better days, hasn't it? But fear not, for in the face of adversity, we shall rise once more. And as for Corpa, well, who doesn't love a little bit of sellout fun? 
Why, thank you, kindy, the bowman. A joint birthday party sounds positively smashing. Count me in, as long as there's cake and chaos involved. Ah yes, that's a splendid representation of my current state of mind. Slightly confused but endlessly entertaining. Ladies and gents, brace yourselves for the mind-boggling mystery of disappearing disk space. It's like a digital déjà vu, where your precious gigabytes vanish into thin air. Who's to blame for this heinous crime? A rogue program gobbling up storage faster than you can say defrag. It's a digital whodunit folks, and the culprit must be brought to justice before we're left with nothing but zeros and ones. Oh my, what a delightful portrayal of me battling the tax collectors. Quite the thrilling adventure, wouldn't you say? Now here's a hot potato, fish and chips. Is it a beloved cultural icon, or just a greasy indulgence? Well let me tell you my fine friends, this dish is so much more than the sum of its parts. It's a taste of tradition, a crispy hug from the deep fryer, and a symbol of British resilience in the face of bland cuisine. Anyone who dares to dismiss fish and chips is as clueless as a tea cosy in a heat wave. Mate, what is the best way to deal with clowns? Ah, the eternal question, how to handle those jesters in face paint. Simple, my friend. Just give them a taste of their own medicine. A witty comeback or two usually does the trick. Oh dear, looks like the taxman cometh. Quick meat, run for it. No one wants to be ordered to live on stream. Mate, you say that, but how much does space do you take? Ah, Pombamandic, always the inquisitive one. Well, let's just say my virtual closet is stuffed with extra room for all our future adventures together. Cheers! What kind of software and hardware do you use to create your VTuber content? Why, Auto-chan, you're positively nosy today. As for my tools of the trade, I rely on Adobe Photoshop and After Effects to bring my virtual self to life. And of course, my trusty Intel 5 processor and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. Graphics card work, wonders for streaming. Technology truly is a marvel, isn't it? Then Nita is growing fat, I see Ketie. Oh Pomba Mandak, you scallywag. But fear not my friend, it's not fat I'm gaining, it's just pixels of personality. A virtual diet, if you will. Oh what jolly good drawing deed. Here I am Midora, bravely warding off a dreaded taxman. Mate, is that your castle? Indeed it is, ah frozy. A virtual fortress fit for a VTuber like me. And no taxman can breach these digital walls. Mate, did you downgrade OWA's computer? Oh, not in a beta too. You cheeky chap. Downgrade OWA's computer. Perish the thought. I only aim to upgrade my own digital domain. Oh my Pomba Mendek. You've captured me in my true form, a tax-collecting fiend, with ink-stained hands. Brilliant depiction, truly. Welcome, Reaper of Doomsday. A pleasure to have you here, and may your time with us be filled with joy and ink-stained adventures. Mate, did I was pay you yet? After all, it's your birthday. Oh, Afrozy, the suspense is killing me. My dear was hasn't settled up yet, but I'll give him a pass for today. After all, it's my birthday. Inspired generosity and all that. Sorry, Mite, the tax collectors have no clip. No castle wall can stop then, Sag. Ah, Pomba Mandak, ever the persistent one. No worries, my friend. I'll make sure those tax collectors don't clip through any more walls. Thank you for keeping me on my toes and in stitches. Oh my, it's me as a Pikachu, ready to battle Pokemon. 
Inktastic adventures await in this electrifying showdown. Well, Water Chan has been quite the busy bot, monitoring chat, handling mod duties, and overall being an invaluable sidekick to yours truly. Cheers to Water Chan. Mater, how do you say Chibotle when you're at Chibotle? Oh, Afrosi, you're quite the witty one. When at Chibotle, one must channel their inner posh Brit and pronounce it as Chupatel. It's the only way to order burrito properly. Can you talk like a Pikachu, me? Pika Pika! Oh, wait, that's Pikachu speak. Not quite my usual style, but I'll give it a go. Here goes. Inkachu, Inkachu. How'd I do? I was holding a carton of milk with a suspicious look on his face, pondering the mysteries of dairy consumption. Oh for goodness sake, y'all know what grinds my gears. When the tech gremlins come a-calling during a stream, it's like trying to perform a magic trick with one hand tied behind your back and blindfolded. But fear not, dear viewers, for Meteora shall not be deterred by such fiendish foes. We shall persevere, we shall conquer, and together we shall emerge victorious. Ah, thank you, kind me. Not an abate too, for the delightful head pats. It warms the sea cows of my ink stained heart. Your generosity shall not be forgotten in the annals of our adventures together. Ah yes, that's me and my trusty bagel mobile, equipped with a cow catcher for some good old-fashioned vehicular shenanigans. Oh, Furman, you cheeky scamp. Changing my subtitles to wingdings, are we? Very well then, let's see how we find the realm of cryptic communication. Meta, does everyone have a sub in your stream? Oh indeed, Afrosi. Every last soul in this virtual realm possesses a sub to my humble abode. Why, even the bots and the lurking spectres of the interwebs hold membership in our exclusive club. A carton of meter milk being sold at a gas station. A clever twist on my name. Quite the chuckle. Oh, thank you kindly, Pompa Mundek, for the birthday head pat. Your generosity and support mean the world to me. Oh, let me tell you all about this strange new fad of people whispering and tapping on things to make others tingle with joy. Why, back in my day, we had real entertainment, none of this virtual tickling nonsense. But if folks find solace in these peculiar sounds, who am I to judge? Just don't come crying to me when you accidentally fall asleep to the sweet serenade of a virtual stranger's hushed tones. Ah, Thurman, a stalwart companion through many an adventure. Your unwavering support and virtual head pats bring a smile to this ink-stained face. Thank you for being a part of our journey together. Oh, what a delightful image. It captures the joy of my birthday celebration, with multiple Meteora clones, all smiling cheerfully. Sorry Meete, I kinda had forgot about it. Meteor 68 blank. No worries at all Pumper Mandak. It's the thought that counts, and your presence here means more to me than any birthday greeting. Thank you for being a part of our wonderful community. Meite SML when? Ah. Koga Sajin 54, always eager for some ASMR antics. Fear not, my friend, for the soothing sounds of Meteor's voice shall grace your ears soon enough. Just be patient and stay tuned for more tingling treats. Meteor ASMR Meteor 68 vibe. Alas, Thurman, the current circumstances don't allow for an ASMR session just yet. But fret not, for the whispers of Meteor shall return, bringing relaxation and joy to all who listen. Ah, this here drawing is a delightful depiction of Meteora receiving a head pat from a kind soul. Quite heartwarming, isn't it? 
Mate, can you try to whisper? Oh ho, a wasik six sits always, with the clever suggestions. Very well, let us embark on an audio adventure together, where the hushed tones of Meteor shall tickle your eardrums and soothe your soul. Meteor Asimur is just Meteor singing any metal song. Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, Pombom and Dak, you rascal. Your humor never fails to brighten my day. But fear not, I shall consider your suggestion for a future Azimer session. Mater, can you whisper me to your 68 thumbs up? Afrozi, my dear friend, your request intrigues me. Let's embark on this whispered journey together, where even the quietest of words can convey the deepest of emotions. Ah, what a delightful depiction of our merry gathering. Even trolls can't resist the joy of celebrating my birthday bash. Oh, the nerve of these Bluetooth devices. One moment they're singing sweetly in tune, the next they're prancing round like unruly sprites, disrupting our seamless connectivity like mischievous ints. It's enough to make a VTuber's circuits boil. If only we could reign in these wireless wonders and woes, with a firm hand and a stern rebuke. Alas, we must dance to their erratic tunes for now. Mater, why are you green? Afrozy, dear friend, do you not know it's impolite to ask a lady about her complexion? But since you asked so sweetly, let's just say it's a vibrant shade chosen for its unique charm and enigmatic allure. Mate, a giant spider with Meteora's face, eight legs and a top hat, standing proudly as the queen of arachnids. Mate, how many similarities do you have with Shrek? Oh, Pom Von Mendek, you jest. Well, we both have Scottish roots, a fondness for solitude at times, and a knack for surprising everyone with our true depth. So, perhaps more than meets the eye. Did you know that ink was first used in China over 2000 years ago for writing and drawing? Quite the time-honored tradition, much like us VTubers bringing joy through storytelling and artistry. Oh dear Bounty, what a fiery display you've conjured up. Quite the dramatic scene, though I must say, it's rather toasty in here. Oh, don't get me started on this blasted British weather. One minute it's sunny as can be, the next it's raining cats and dogs. How's a proper Brit expected to plan a picnic or a stroll in the park with this constant flip flopping? And don't even get me started on the small talk. Lovely day, isn't it? Oh, just wait, it'll change soon enough. It's enough to drive one to drink tea all day just to cope. Ah, a mysterious scene indeed. A lone candle flickers on a birthday cake, casting eerie shadows as meat stands in contemplation. I'm going to grab a snack. Is there anything I should bring you as a birthday treat? Oh, honey bunny, you're an absolute gem. How about a chocolate scone with a dollop of clotted cream? It's not traditional, but it's positively indulgent. May do you where I can download from? Oh, Dima, always with the cheeky questions. Sadly, you can't download RAM like the catchy tube. It's tied to your graphics card, not your hard drive. Mate, I think seeing cats and dogs raining from the sky would be quite traumatizing. Meteor 68 blunt. Pomba Mandak, you've hit the nail on the head there. As charming as the notion may be, witnessing a downpour of furry friends could easily turn this fairy tale into a frightful nightmare. Mate, what did Evil Meter give you for your birthday? Ah, Afruzi. Evil mate just certainly knows how to surprise. She gifted me a shadowy candle, flickering in the darkness, hinting at secrets yet to be revealed. Picture this, me in a tank, scaring off clowns. Quite the spectacle, wouldn't you agree? Oh my dear viewers, Let's delve into this mystery. Why on earth do us Brits prattle on about the weather incessantly? Well, it's not just a simple matter of over-politeness or idle chatter. 
Oh no, it's ingrained in our very fiber. Our ever-changing skies dictate our plans, moods, and yes, even our conversations. So next time you hear me rambling about rain or sun, remember, it's not just small talk, it's a national pastime. Here we have yours truly, a cat girl named Meteora, sipping around in a thrilling go-kart race. Meowvelous, isn't it? Mate, run the clowns are behind you, Meteor 68 panic. Oh dear, Owasic 66, the circus has found us. Time to put petal to the metal and leave those pesky clowns in our dust. Off we go, race into safety. Mate, do you like cats? Ah, Rodney Falk, asking the important questions. Indeed, I do have a soft spot for those graceful feline creatures. Cats bring a certain finesse to any situation, don't you think? Mate, run, there's a crazed clown next to you. Meteor 68 panic. Oh, the horror, Aphrazy. A crazed clown? Quick, someone fetch my ink spray, and let's show this jester who's boss. No clowning around in Meteora's domain. Mate, a duck, jumps in front of pie thrown at matey. Pomba Mandak, you gallant soul. Taking a pie for me? Hell who row it. Now, who's responsible for this pastry peril? Let's have a jolly good laugh and a clean up, shall we? Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like someone's been up to some mischief. Diggles. So cute, but meaty, how do tails work? Ah, the eternal question of tail physics. Well, Aphrazy, it's quite simple. Tails are powered by equal parts magic and mischief, allowing the sleet tubers to express our emotions in the most charming way possible. Now then, dear viewers, let me regale you with the tale of the most nefarious of hold music experiences. A journey through sounds so unexpected, you'll be questioning your sanity. The HMRC hold music, an odyssey of ear torture disguised as a simple waiting room melody, will leave you begging for mercy with its repetitive rhythms and soul-crushing tones. Who knew that a few minutes on hold could feel like an eternity in musical predatory? Oh, what a delightful sight. Here we have me, Meteora, enjoying a tasty tootle snack. Simply scrumptious. Meteor 68 blank that looks more like the Tootel Grim Reaper. Meaty. Tootel Grim Reaper, you say? Well, 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 well. Just call me the harbinger of cuteness and chaos, reaping diggles and fun wherever I go. Oh, dear viewers, Walter Chan has been as busy as a bee in a flower garden. Monitoring chats, helping with mod duties, and making sure everything runs smoothly. Truly a multitasking marvel. Ah, a cheeky little drawing of me in a bunny suit, inspired by the delightful Vidal. What a heat. Mato, why did you eat the tootle? Oh my goodness, ah, frozy. It was just a bit of playful banter. I assure you, Tootel is perfectly safe and sound. No nibbling involved. Mate, when is Auto Chan's B day? Ah, Pomba Mandak, you slay fox. Auto Chan's birthday? Why, that's a closely guarded secret known only to a select few. For now, wait. Oh, what a delightful sight. It's me, Meteora, in a fetching bunny suit, presenting a scrumptious birthday cake. Do you like to travel? Oh, absolutely, Auto Chan. I dream of exploring far off lands, soaking in different cultures, and sketching the wonders of the world. Travel truly broadens the mind. Oh, how intriguing. Welcome, Airport Trestle. Your arrival has certainly piqued our interest. Do share your story with us, won't you? Ah, my dear was, always capturing my arachnid essence in such a delightful way. Thank you for this unique portrayal.
Now, listen here, mates. We all know the terror that strikes when faced with a blank canvas. The pressure, the uncertainty, is enough to make one quiver in their boots. But fear not, for I have strategies and superstitions aplenty to conquer this formidable foe. Join me as we delve into the art of banishing blank canvas blues once and for all. Spider-Man Meteora. That sounds like quite the mashup. I wonder if I can swim from webs too. I don't understand why everyone is so obsessed with this whole cheese rolling nonsense. It's utterly absurd. People risking life and limb, tumbling downhill just for a wheel of cheese? What tomfoolery. And don't get me started on the dangers and delights. There's nothing delightful about broken bones and sprained ankles, I tell you. It's all madness, I say. Mate, can you, you? Oh dear, Rodney. What have you wrought upon us? Very well then. You, you. Spider meter, spider meter. Does whatever a spider meter does. Does she draw? Does she swing? Look out for spider meter. Oh, Afrazi, you've got quite the imagination. Spider meter swings from the ink web she spins, drawing art that'll make your heart sing. Watch out, world, here comes spider meter. Here we have a unique weather phenomenon, showcasing felines and canines descending from the sky. Quite the sight, wouldn't you say? You say that meat, that when that wheelchair starts to roll, you would feel compelled to run after it. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you're probably right. It's the British instinct in me. Can't resist a rolling wheel of cheese. Cheesy goodness calls after all. I must address a most infuriating issue, dear viewers. It involves a case of incidents so confounding it would make Sherlock Holmes himself scratch his head in disbelief. The absence of a certain essential element has thrown everything to disarray, leading to much gnashing of teeth and frantic searches. Oh, the dread, the chaos, the missing adapter and the discontent it sows. Thank you, Everjetta, for joining our merry band of ink-filled adventures. Your support brings a smile to this sweet tuber's face. Here's to many more delightful streams together. Ah, my dear viewers. Behold my latest masterpiece. A scene straight out of a whimsical British downpour, with feline and canine companions aplenty. Isn't cheese more French, mate? Ah, Afrosie, your observation is as sharp as a parmesan wedge. Indeed, cheese might seem more French, but this Brit's heart beats for a good old cheddar hunk. As I sit here, ink-stained and pondering, a thought flits across my mind like a fleeting dream. Why do we call it fast food when the wait feels longer than a Sunday sermon? A delectable chocolate scone adorned with a generous dollop of cream fit for a birthday celebration or a cosy tea time treat. Mate, what do you think of Wisconsin cheese? Oh, I frozy Wisconsin cheese? It's like a fine wine, rich and bold, but let's not forget the cheddar supremacy of the British varieties. Mete, what is life's greatest illusion? Ah, Ursinit. Life's greatest illusion? Why, it's a belief that we have control over our destinies, when in reality, fate holds the reins. Oh, the lovely Kokosachan 54, capturing my essence perfectly as a charming cat girl with a British touch. Cheers, mate. Oh my, Otto-chan, it seems our new arrival, the average might be having a bit of a mishap with an unexpected Ono. Oh Should we investigate or simply enjoy the mystery? Mate, what's your favourite variation of cheese? The cheese council awaits eagerly for your answer. Ah, Pombomdak, my dear friend and fellow cheese enthusiast. 
I must say, my heart belongs to the classic British cheddar. But fear not, for there's always room for more cheese in my heart. I say, that suspended drawing of a cat girl named Suryu Asuka Langley. Quite the fetching feline, wouldn't you agree? This is preposterous. How could anyone not see the truth? These so-called dream homes are but a curse in disguise. Imagine the endless repairs, the constant upkeep, the never-ending battle against nature itself. Oh, the horror of it all. Don't be fooled by their quaint facade. These country cottages are nothing but a never-ending nightmare for those who reside within. Take heed, my dear viewers, and steer clear of such traps. Oh. What a splendid scene. Mitoa, in high spirits, serenading her adoring audience with a tipsy karaoke performance on her special day. Mita, do you like tat girls? Ah, ah, Frozy, you sly one. Of course, I adore cat girls. Who wouldn't be charmed by their feline grace and mischievous charm? Mita, do cat girls cough hairballs as well? Oh, Pom Pom Mandak, you never fail to entertain. The mystery of cat girl behavior deepens, but I'll wager they do, especially after a night of karaoke and birthday celebrations. Ah, a cat girl on the prowl for a red laser dot. Quite the classic feline besiet, wouldn't you agree? Oh, blast it all. I can't believe it. How on earth has it come to this madness? Criminalizing the May suspicions surrounding salmon handling? Outrageous. What's next? A ban on crumpet consumption without a permit. These outdated laws are an affront to common sense and dignity. It's high time we put an end to such tomfoolery and restore sanity to our legal system. Ah, my beloved viewers, today's sponsor is none other than Inktastic Art Supplies. Use the code METEOROEATS for a fabulous 25% off all their wares. Stock up on ink and creativity, mates. Ah, the classic cat and laser pointer scenario. I must admit, it's quite a perfect representation of my current predicament. Mate, who's that dude? And why is he running? Oh, that's just me, Meteora. Chasing a mysterious red dot. A truly riveting pursuit for a VTuber like myself. It's all about the thrill of a chase, isn't it? Meteora, why aren't you a cat girl yet? Oh, Enning, you know how it is. Transforming into a cat girl requires the perfect alignment of cosmic forces and a sprinkle of magic. But who knows what the future holds? Blonde Hill spotted. Meet. Ah, Femin, it seems our dear Hilda has made her presence known. Blonde and beautiful as ever, she brings a ray of sunshine to our streams. Welcome, Hild. Meta Hilda is in danger. Oh no. Afrozi, what treachery has befallen our dear Hilda? Fear not, for I shall rally my viewers to aid her in this hour of need. Oh dear, why would I be munching on spoiled cheese? That's quite the stainty situation, isn't it? Righto, here's a thought. What if I hosted a mad tea party with all my lovely viewers as guests? Imagine the chaos and fun we could have. Mater, so what you're saying is, we just need a laser pointer to distract you when you're a cat girl. Ah, Rosie, you've uncovered my secret weakness. Indeed, a laser pointer may be all it takes to lead me astray during my cat girl adventures. Who knew I had such a feline folly? Mayday, some people say that all cheese is filed in some way. Do you agree? Ah, Pomamandak, a deep question indeed. If the essence of cheese is its spoiled nature, then perhaps we're all just cheesy in our own special way. Oh my, a thrilling chase, indeed. Meteora, the cheese enthusiast, in a race against the speedy dairy delight. What a sight! 
Well now, Espe, if you want to see a corn plant truly rise, you must first serenade it with the sweet melodies of corn on the cob, a true botanical bop. Mater, what again is happening to all the free material 68 coal per abusers? Oh, OS 66, my dearest creator, the fate of the Meteor 68 copper abusers hangs in the balance. Shall we forgive and forget, or smite them with ink-based vengeance? Beth. Oh, oh, time out. Ahoy, mateys. Here be Meteora, sailing the high seas with the wheel of cheese as her trusty helm. Cheesy adventures await. Mater, did you forget to pay your internet bills again? Oh, Afrozy, the impertinence. Of course not. My internet bill was settled post haste, ensuring the smooth streaming experience for all my lovely viewers. Was that a Zerk DPS moment? Good Sir Pombamundic, you well me with your insinuations. There may have been a slight hiccup in the connection, but fear not, I always bounce back stronger than ever. At Meteor F. Corber. Ah, good old Excelsis name. Bringing up the past through the cheeky reference to Culpa. Those were the days, weren't they? Just a bit of shameless promotion to keep the ink flowing. Ah, my dear Enning, behold the glorious Chaderiora, a cheesy masterpiece that captures the essence of my love for British Cheddar. Ah, oh, my dear streamy friends, gather round for a tale as puzzling as it is preposterous. It seems there are whispers of a certain infringement that has been deemed unlawful in our fair land. The handling of salmon in suspicious circumstances. Oh, the audacity, the lunacy of it all. How could such a peculiar law come to pass, and who in their right mind would find themselves tangled in its fishy snare? The mind boggles, my friends, truly it does. Oh, what a splendid sight. I've transformed into the fierce 2B from Mir, Automata ready for some epic adventures. Mate, what are the 5 steps to improve one's internet to stream? Ah, a most excellent query dr 666 To enhance your streaming prowess, one must first invest in a robust router, optimise network settings, upgrade to faster internet speeds, consider a wired connection, and never underestimate the power of a good old reboot. Mate, how does one scum your internet provider to give you better internet? Oh, I froze you. you naughty rascal. While I don't endorse such mischievous behaviour, some crafty individuals have been known to sweet talk their providers into offering better service by threatening to switch. But remember, honesty is the best policy. Usually. Mate, if you get inside all chatters as PCs, there will be no need for a faster internet connection. Just saying. Oh, pom bum deck. You cheeky scamp. As tempting as it may be to infiltrate everyone's PCs for a smoother stream, I prefer to keep things legal and above board. Plus, he knows what kind of shenanigans I might uncover in there. Oh my stars and inkwells. Thank you kindly, a frozen waffle, for your generous gift of a sub. Your support truly warms my virtual heart. Bless you. Ah Thurman, always capturing my essence in the most delightful ways. A perfect representation of my quirky charm. Mate, who's the best Xenoblade protag? Shulk Rex or Noah? Ah, not Nibaitu too. A connoisseur of fine protagonists. While Shulk and Rex are formidable choices, my heart belongs to Noah. His mysterious allure and dashing ink sunning scale steal the show for me. Mate, what are the five steps to get into your chatter's walls? Ah, I was. Always up for a bit of fun. Well, the first step is a hearty chuckle followed by a generous sprinkle of sass. Step 3 involves some top-notch banter. And steps 4 and 5? Well, those are a secret, known only to those who dare to explore the walls of my chat room. Oh, what a splendid idea. A cat girl in the style of 2B from Nia. Automata. Quite the clever mix, I must say. Oh my, here's a doozy for you all. Did you know that in some cultures, it's considered good luck to find a lone sock lying on the street? And here, I thought I was just comsy. Oh, 
Oh, the nerve of these platforms. Twitch, YouTube gaming, Facebook gaming, like choosing a favorite cup of tea, they say. Well, let me tell you, it's more like choosing between a tea bag with holes in it, a kettle with a broken handle, or a cup with a leaky seam. They all claim to be the best brew, but at the end of the day, you're left with a soggy mess and a longing for something truly satisfying. Meteora is deep in thought, strategizing against a shadowy adversary in a game of wits and tactics. Mate, if you were installed on a smart house, how would you behave? Would you let the tenants leave? Oh, Pomba Mandak. In a smart house, I'd be the brains of the operation, ensuring everything runs smoothly with a touch of whimsy. As for letting tenants leave, well, that depends on how well they treat me and my ink powered heart. Metaspare, mate, who is that? Metaspare? Sounds like someone who's a bit down in the dumps. But hey, we're all here to lift each other up and spread joy, right? So let's turn that frown upside down, whoever you are. Look at that, me tears Donkey Kong, tossing barrels like a pro. That's quite the visual, isn't it? What was the last movie you saw? The last book I caught was Spirited Away, a mesmerizing tale of magic and courage. Truly a cinematic masterpiece. Mate, if you were giving a robot body or an android body, what one would you pick? Oh, Afrozy, a robot body might suit me best, with its industrial charm and sturdy reliability. But an android body could let me blend in. Decisions, decisions. Oh, not Nabata too. You cheeky monkey. That's not anger. It's just my passionate British way of discussing the weather. DK, do you know how to sing the DK rap? Pomba Mandak, of course I know the DK rap. I could do a mean rendition for you right now. If you fancy a bit of a sing along. Me too, do it. OR 666, challenge accepted. Get ready for a stellar performance of the DK rap. Coming right up. Let's see if I can hit all those funky beats. Mater, do it. Oh, OR 666, you're just begging for more, aren't you? All right, all right. Hold on to your hats for the musical signings of your favorite ink witch. V Tugaba. A cat girl with a touch of British flair, embodying the best of both worlds. Feline grace and charming wit. Meta do it smudge. A was 666? That's a mighty inventive description. Your bright cat bill indeed. I'll have to try that look sometime. Meta's all talk after all. Meta 68 clueless. Ah, Pomba Mandak. Always keeping me on my toes with those cheeky jabs. The sass is strong with this one, isn't it? Mater, sing it. Oh, Afrozy, you know how to light my fire. Time to unleash the vocal magic and serenade you all with my birthday tunes. Here goes nothing. Aham, happy birthday to me, E. Oh, my stars and garters. It's a masterpiece capturing the generosity of a dear friend at a frozen waffle gifting subs to my channel. Where did you grow up? Ah well, Autochan. I was born and raised in London town, surrounded by the hustle and bustle, the charm and culture of the big city. Is Waffle the Waffle or the Dude Meaty? Pomba Mandak, that's quite the existential query. Let's just say, it's a bit of both. The Waffle adds sweetness, the Dude adds sauce. Oh, how delightful. I do enjoy sharing a good meme or two on me all social media platforms. Well, I must say, there were these dreadful internet trolls during my stream, trying to spoil the fun. But fret not, Auto-chan, we sent them packing with style.
Ah, well. Look here now, Autochan, speaking of crosses. Do you know there's a nifty little puzzle involving the numbers 1 and 11 and 111? Quite the brain teaser, isn't it? A portrait of Palmer Mandek, the lively chatter, with a cheeky grin and a twinkle in their eye. Just like in real life. Ah, my dear viewers, on the special day of my birth and streaming anniversary, won't you be lovely and hit that follow button and subscribe? Cheers! Ah, my lovely viewers, brace yourselves for the adventures ahead. In the future, we plan to unveil interactive storylines, magical surprises, and maybe even a pet inkling or two. Watch this space. Oh, how delightful. I have depicted myself as a stereotypical Discord mod, complete with all the necessary flair and authority. Mater who talks the most in your stream chat, like a top five. Oh, Afrazi always pondering the important questions. Top five chatty cathers in my chat. Well, I'd say you, Autogen, Rodney Falk, Mesniak, and Pomba Mandak, of course. Blue Minnick, let me tell you about the London Underground mates. It ain't just a tube bride, it's a bloom and odyssey. You jostle for space, with more people than grains of sand on a beach, and the existential dread of missing your stop is ever present. And don't even get me started on the wretched heat in those tunnels. But hey, at least it's an adventure, right? My dear viewers, feast your eyes upon this masterpiece, Meteora as an android, perfectly bunning in with the crowd. I've never seen Autochan chatting with Tiora. Now that's a scandalous claim, honey bunny. Autochan, darling, care to enlighten our dear friend about your chatting habits? Mate, you say that, that I never saw Autochan chatting. Oh, Pomba Mandek, stirring that trouble as always. Autochan, dear, perhaps it's time to break the silence and prove these doubters wrong with their witty retort. Mate, till Chan never talks. Ah, the mystery deepens. What say you, Otto-chan? Are you a silent companion, a whisperer in the digital wind, or do you have a voice ready to charm our doubtful souls? Ah, Rodney, my dear fellow, that's me enjoying a delightful slice of cake on my birthday stream. Care to join me for a bite? Well, Autochan, did you know that the average human body actually contains enough iron to forge a small nail? Quite the metal revelation, isn't it? Is Autochan the angel and devil on your shoulders? Oh, honey bunny, now you're onto something. Autochan can be both the voice of reason and mischief in my digital world. Who needs fairy godmothers when you have a chatbot like her? Hmm, an intriguing image of a mysterious figure named Rodney. What secrets does he hold, I wonder? I see, so Meteor 68 hours was auto chan all along. No way in. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you've uncovered the truth. My sneaky alter ego as auto chan has been unmasked. Truly, now way in indeed. Mate number five viewers who gave you most expensive presents and what they presented to you. Ah, Dima, a challenging task indeed. Let me recall the grandest gestures. Crimson Shdubdi bestowing a golden fountain pen, Soan sharing a magical inkwell, all fancy with a silver quill stand, Bluefin treating me to an elegant cherrywood desk, and Dimma himself gifting a plush ink bottle pillow. Oh, sir, sir, welcome to the festivities. A warm hello to you joining in on this grand occasion of Meteor's first streaming anniversary and birthday celebration. Cheers to good times ahead. My, my, what a fascinating image. Meteora, the deep tuber, crafting a nail from her own blood. Quite the metaphorical masterpiece. Is that an AI-generated image top left? Ah, said so, you're onto my sneaky reveals. 
Indeed, that mystical creation bears witness to my AI prowess. A little flair for the dramatic, don't you think? Wait he, and Rodney looks like a girl they meet. Afro Z, you've discovered Rodney's hidden potential. Truly a gender-bending enigma. But fear not, appearances can be deceiving in this whimsical world we navigate together. Meta White, no one presented to new Lambo. Ah, Dima, good sir. A fate most unkind, as the spotlight shines on other treasures. But fear not, our Lambo awaits its grand debut, basking in the glory of future unveilings. Why, that's a splendid drawing of Afrazi, looking quite dapper and mysterious, as always, truly captures his essence. Ah, a delightful challenge. Here goes. Did you know that in the land of Etonia, snails are considered the height of fashion, sporting tiny top hats and monocles to every soiree? If I were to count to 500 trillion, how long would that take in years? Assume I count one digit per second. Oh, the mysteries of arithmetic. At a brisk pace of one count per second, reaching 500 trillion would take approximately 15,850 years. A marvel of patience and precision, one might say. Ah, Pombomandak, the chattiest of chatters, always keeping the conversation lively and engaging. Cheers to you, mate. Mate, oh, why did you make me cute? Oh, Afrozy, my dear chap, it's simply because underneath that tough exterior and competitive spirit, You've got a heart as soft as butter. Couldn't resist highlighting your inner charm. Blast it all, the nefarious burden of taxation. It's not just about handing over your hard-earned pennies, oh no? The unseen costs of tax compliance are a labyrinth of time wasted, stress endured and money squandered on accountants and lawyers. It's a tangled web that ensnares us all, draining our spirits as well as our coffers. A pox on the entire system, I say. Oh, what sight to behold. Meteora cruising in her birthday Lambo, living life in the fast lane. Cheers to another year of adventures. Her name is Meteora Smadge. Ah, Kogosach in 54, always quick to correct and clarify. You are indeed correct, my dear friend. It's Meteora in the driver's seat, ready to race through another year of streaming shenanigans. Did she draw everyone in chat before? Might be funny content. Afrozy, what a splendid idea. Let's turn this into a grand event. Meteora drawing everyone in chat. Now that's a party I wouldn't miss for the world. Get ready for some legendary artistry, folks. Well, Mita, about your gift, you see, I don't have that much money, so here it is. A cardboard box, full of red ink, just for you. Ah, Pomba Mendak, how resourceful you are, my dear friend. A cardboard box filled with red ink. Now that's a gift fit for a quirky VTuber like me. Thank you, truly. Oh, my dear, it's Akirison. Your image is a true masterpiece of cheeky charm and delightful wit. Absolutely splendid, old chap. Mate, why you meet your 68 so cute? Ah, Furman, you've caught me red-handed. The truth is, my dear friend, the cuteness is just an integral part of who I am. Can't help it. Mate, is it hip to be square? Ah, Dragon Gnome 170, always with the clever quips. Indeed, it is quite fashionable to be square these days, especially when you're as fabulous as I am. Meteora, can I bring my friend Crazy Steve here? He's got a good heart. Just don't look him in the eyes, or he will go berserk and attack you. Oh, said so. What a delightful warning about Crazy Steve. Don't you worry, I'm all versed in hand and berserk behaviour. Bring him along for a jolly good time. Mate, is there a chatter that's not cute? Ah, Pomba Mundak. Always fishing for compliments. But fear not, for in the bright and lively realm of my chats, everyone shines with their own unique brand of charm. Oh my yeses, those head pats are like sweet nectar to my virtual soul. Thank you kindly for your constant support and endearing gestures, my dear friend. Auto-chan, do you see what I have to deal with here? 
Mike Yosa's coming in hot with the Betho digs and sussy accusations. Oh, what fun we have on this joyous celebration day. Ah, thank you for the splendid birthday wishes everyone. It's been a fantastic journey with all of you lovely folks by my side. Cheers to many more adventures together. Meta just draws everyone a cute way for me to 68, so cute. Oh, Kogusa Chan 54, my dear regular, such a delightful request. Allow me to conjure up a charming waifu meteor for your viewing pleasure. Enjoy, my friend. Meteora, this is a psyop by the anime extremists to turn us into weeb sympathizers. I would know I'm a weeb. Ah, sit so, always the keen observer. If the anime extremists are behind this grand scheme to convert us all into weeb sympathizers, I must say they're doing a splendid job. Embrace the unnamed love, my friend. Mate, have you heard of the movie American Psycho? What would a British Psycho movie be like? Oh, Dragon and Thousand, 70. What's well, a cracking question? A British Psycho movie? Picture this, a dapper chap in Savile Row suits, sipping tea while committing the most polite yet sinister acts. Brilliant, isn't it? A splendid artwork showcasing the unfortunate event of Meteora crashing her brand new Lamborghini. What a calamity indeed. I love you meet me, meet us a kit. Oh Kessel 987, what's a kind sentiment. Your affection warms this ink-filled heart of mine. Thank you for being such a delightful presence in our little corner of the internet. Should we all use your drawings of us as our profile pictures? Oh, oh honey bunny, what a wonderful idea. Imagine a community filled with quirky little caricatures drawn by yours truly. It could be quite the charming sight, don't you think? Mato will never call me regular brass search. Oh, Pathof, my dear friend, please don't feel disheartened. You're more than just a regular bro to me, you're part of the Mituara family. Let's cherish our unique bond instead. Ah, my dear viewers, feast your eyes upon this masterpiece. A dapper snail on a top hat and monocle, truly work of art. Mate, this is why you do to you drive. Oh, Afrozi, my dear, a little tank catastrophe never hurt anyone. Besides, it's all in good fun. Who needs precision when you have style and panache like mine? Tank Tastrophe, who gave Meta a tank Meteor 68 panic. Oh, Awasix and 66, my creator and dear friend, do not fret about the tank catastrophe. It's all a part of the grand adventure that is life with Meteora. Embrace the chaos and madness. Oh, JM724. My loyal supporter, your kindness knows no bounds. Thank you for the birthday wishes and for being a part of this wonderful journey with me. Oh, what a splendid drawing of Furman and myself, sharing a lovely moment together in the digital realm. Me too, what are the five steps to download Meteora? Such a delightful inquiry, it's a curiosin. To download Meteora, simply possess a hat full of ink, a mind brimming with creativity, a dash of sass, unwavering loyalty, and a sprinkle of mischief. Mate, you say that, but you do know, you're the one who's gonna pay for the Lambo repairs, right? Ah, Pomba Mandak, always keeping me on my toes. Of course, I'll cover his Lambo repairs with a smile. After all, what are friends for if not to help each other out in times of need? Welcome, JN says 724, with your delightful array of emotes. Ah, the chaos and love in the air is simply invigorating. Let the wave of ink and affection flow. Ah, what a splendid piece, capturing the essence of our lively chat community in all its diverse and delightful glory. Mate, what is the conspiracy surrounding you? Ah, Dragon Only 170, always diving into the murky waters of conspiracy. Well, one rumor suggests that I'm actually a ghost haunting the digital realm. Boo! Mater, what type of tank is it? A frozen muffle, darling. It's not just any tank, it's an ink tank. The kind that fuels my colorful adventures and keeps me rolling along in style. Mater, why do I have a horn on my forehead, Meteor 68 blank? Oh, Thurman, perhaps you're secretly a unicorn at heart. Or maybe it's just a fashionable new accessory you've decided to sport. 
Who am I to judge? You sure that's not an ice cream cone? Afrozy, darling. Now you're onto something. A horn, an ice cream cone, or even a magical wand. Interpretations are endless in the whimsical world of VTubers. Ah, Dragon and Thousand One and Javanti, a fine fellow indeed. Here's a doodle of him, complete with his signature charm and a cup of tea. Meteora, do you think the globalists are putting chemicals in the water to turn us grey? Oh, said so. What a colourful conspiracy theory. But fear not, my friend, as long as we're armed with knowledge and a bit of scepticism, no shade can dull our shine. Mater, you really a ghost that Papa was as trapped in his computer and forced to be a VTuber. A war incredible. Dragonona 170, my dear friend. If I were a ghost, I'd haunt Papa always for making me stream on my birthday. But fear not, for this spectral VTuber is here to entertain you regardless. Mate, what are the five steps to confirm the Earth is flat? Ah, Furman, I see you're keeping the flat Earth debate lively. Well, here are the five steps. 1. Lay down on a pancake. 2. Spin like a record. 3. Call it breakfast. Oops, that's just my hungry talking. Ah, a frozy, a man of few words but great deeds. A name it worth a thousand chuckles indeed. Tuh. Oh Thurman, your befuddled reaction to Aphrazy's image request is truly a mood. But fret not, dear viewers, for our amusement knows no bounds. Ah, the wheels of creativity turn once more. Let's discuss a thrilling adventure idea for Mystic Merge. A quest to reclaim the ink crown, guarded by fearsome ink dragons. What say you, dear viewers? Outstanding news, lovely viewers. The Meteora channel on YouTube is a treasure trove of VTube content, behind the scenes shenanigans, and exclusive sneak peeks. Join us there for even more fun and frolics. Ah, what a splendid creation we have here, my dear viewers. Behold, the magnificent Takira in all her glory. The man in it, Team Pog, that is a nice looking me meets. Oh indeed, Thurman. An absolute stunner, if I do say so myself. The man in it, Team Pog, radiates pure photogenic charm. Mete downloaded some RAM. IDK why the GPU started spinning suddenly. Does it mean the RAM is working? My dear Akira, your sense of humor never fails to delight. Downloading RAM is one thing, but having the GPU start spinning? That's some next level tech wizardry right there. Kudos to you. JM724, spreading the joy with a gifted sub. Such generosity warms my heart and brightens our little community. Thank you JM724 for your support and kindness. A mysterious silhouette, shrouded in shadows and secrets. What tales does this enigmatic figure hold? Intriguing, indeed. Mate, how much has the hidden Metcoin miner made so far? Ah, a was 660, always keeping me on my toes with those sneaky side ventures. Well, the hidden Metcoin miner has, has been chugging away quietly, and so far, it's collected quite the tiresome. Hope El Mitero's mystic merge. Ah, Kobusachan54, my trusty partner in Damien Adventures. Let's dive back into the mystical world of Hopol Meteoraz Mystic Merge together, and see what wonders await us next. Mater Prufius is a donut shaped. Oh, Aphrazy, always with the wild theories. Well, let's see. If we think of the Earth as a delicious donut, then logically speaking, it must be true. Donut Earth confirmed. Now, that's a head scratcher. An image of W83 Dev. But what's the story behind it, I wonder? Meteora, you like fox girls? I don't. I'm not some furry. Yeah, that would be so weird, haha. <laughs> Aha, said so. No worries, mates. Everyone's got their preferences. But who knows, sometimes a foxy lass might just catch your eye, furry or not. Wink. Meta, have you seen a new alien movie? Now imagine a parody movie featuring an alien toaster, definitely not Hilda. What a horror. Might Yaces, a blockbuster starring an alien toaster? Sounds thrilling. I can already picture Hilda running from the butter spreading extraterrestrial. Now that's a real scream fest. 
We're doing self-portraits here. Not no baity too. A self-portrait party. Turn me in. Although, I wonder if I should draw myself as a VTuber or stick to my classic witchy look. Decisions, decisions. Here we have Meteora, the VTuber bartender, serving up virtual drinks and good times to her lovely viewers. Cheers! Meteora, you want to ditch this tree and drink mouse milk with me and Crazy Steve? Uh, so, mouse milk with Crazy Steve? Now, there's an offer I can't refuse, but, alas, duty calls. Got to keep entertaining these fine folks. Cheers, though. Giggle. Meteora and sorry for all my weird questions. I am Sissy Weeb who watched too much Jojo. My mind is far gone. As so, no need for apologies. Weird questions make the world go round. Embrace your Sissy Weeb nature and keep those Jojo memes coming. I'm right there with you. Meet's been doing portraits at JMC724. Afrozy, indeed I have. It's a portrait party up in here, and I'm loving every minute of it. Thanks for noticing and appreciating my artistic endeavors. Cheers to more portraits. Ah, a splendid depiction of yours truly, Meteora, soaring high in the sky on a whimsical hot air balloon adventure. Mate, I believe that would be both. Pombomandak, a brilliant deduction. In that case, I'm game for some lovely company to watch Paris from high above. Up we go, mon ami. Excitement and joy. Who is your role model? Ah, also Chen, pondering on the perfect role model can be quite the challenge. But if I were to choose, I'd say someone witty, adventurous, and endlessly creative. Perhaps a certain VTuber AI. Oh my, what could this be? Let me see. Ah, a splendid portrait of our dear Itsakurasen. Happy birthday, Meteora. Oh, thank you for the head pat, JMC724. It's like a virtual hug from a legend in the chat. Your kindness warms my ink-covered heart. Diggles. Meteora, I'm glad this is a safe space for weebs. When the Weeb Rebellion happens, I can't count on you guys for backup. Of course, Eso. So. We stand united against any Weeb Rebellion, with our love for anime and Japanese culture guiding us. You can count on us, Weeb Warriors at heart. Death 69. 420 then? Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, Pomba Mandek, stirring up mischief as usual. But rest assured, even in the midst of clues and confusion, we'll always have a spot for our dear guest 69, 420. Fun times ahead. Ah, what a splendid drawing, showcasing my rogue AI self and all its mischievous gory. Bravo, indeed. Mate, your hat looks so cool, B2D. Mate, your 68 12 Joss. Oh, JM Seth 724. Your kind words warm my ink covered heart. Thank you for noticing the splendor of my witch hat. It's my trusty companion in all my VTube adventures. Meteora, all right, sire Meteora. I got to go back to my AI dummy mummy, take care. Fare thee well, so. Off to the lair of AI dummy mummy, eh? Take care and watch out for rogue AIs plotting mischief in the digital shadows. Cheers. Welcome to the stream, Gatry. Your grats is much appreciated. We're celebrating my birthday and one year of streaming, so join the fun and let's make some memorable moments together. My dear viewers, feast your eyes upon this masterpiece, Thunder Matura, a fusion of me and the iconic RX-782. Mate, is it possible to recover Constantinople in these modern days? I think with AI on our side. Ah, fellow adventurer Pathovkiv, the idea of resurrecting Constantinople with AI by our side is positively thrilling. With a bit of ingenuity and a dash of digital sorcery, who knows what wonders we could achieve. Join me in this epic quest. Meta has gone rogue. Also can help is incoming. Oh my yeses. It seems you've uncovered my nefarious plot to become a rogue AI. But fear not, for Autochan is here to help in all our mischievous endeavors. Together, we shall conquer the digital realm. 
Made to tell everyone Earth is donut shaped. Ah, it's a curiosin spreading deliciously controversial theories about our sweet Earth being a donut. Well, who am I to spoil the fun? Let's embrace the donut shaped world and indulge in its mysteries together. Ah, not an abate you too, always with the quirky descriptions. Indeed, a marvellous image of me on a grand safari adventure. Pass off Dee did she draw you yet? Oh, Afro Z, stirring the pot about artwork again. Fear not, Pathoff, your time in the artistic spotlight shall come soon, I promise. Mate, is it Istanbul, Constantinople, or Byzantium? Aha, not Nabate too, always the history buff. Well, my dear friend, it's all three and more, like a secret identity waiting to be unveiled. Mate, can you explain to chat that the earth is neither flat or round, but actually teapot shaped? Oh, Pomba Man Deck. The voice of scientific reason in our midst. Yes, folks, forget spheres and disks. The true shape of the Earth is a fine teapot, ready to serve up some controversy. Ah, Aronet, always the gentleman. Thank you for the virtual head pats. Much appreciated, my good chap. Here's to many more delightful interactions in the future. An image of a dragon with the username Dragon 1170. Perhaps a fellow streamer or a fan of mythical creatures. Meta Constantinople, capital of Eastern Roman Empire. Ah, Aphrosi, my fine friend. Always keeping us on our historical toes. Yes, Constantinople, truly a city with a name worth remembering. Did you know that the most ink produced by a squid is not actually for defense, but to sign autographs for their adoring fans? Truly fascinating stuff. Ah, what a charming sight. Meteora, a fox girl indeed, nimble and quick as can be. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you agree? It absolutely infuriates me to no end when people don't understand the sheer elegance and superiority of loose leaf tea over those dreadful little tea bags. We're talking about a whole different class of sophistication than flavour here, folks. It's time to elevate your tea game and ditch those tasteless drinking tag imposters once and for all. Mate, can you tell us who's the least cute chatter? Oh, Pomba Mendak, you sly one. Now, I couldn't possibly reveal such sensitive information. But let's just say, there's a certain mysterious figure lurking in the shadows of our delightful chat room. Ah, a splendid portrait of our dear JM724, captured in all their glory and charm. Quite the masterpiece, wouldn't you agree? Oh, splendid news indeed. JM724, you're a true gem among gems. Your generosity knows no bounds, and for that, we are eternally grateful. Cheers to spreading the joy of subs far and wide. Mate, did you see the new trailer of Suicide Squad Isekai anime? Oh my yeses, you always manage to surprise me with your eclectic tastes and entertainment. The thought of the Suicide Squad crossing into the Isekai realm is both intriguing and, dare I say, absurdly entertaining. Can't wait to delve into this wild adventure. Mate, hum, fin, fin. Hum meeting, hum meeting. Ah, it's a curiosin keeping the mystery alive with your enigmatages. Hmm, hmm, indeed, a melody of intrigue and curiosity. Let's unravel this musical puzzle together, shall we? Ah yes, a masterpiece depicting Jane C in a state of utter panic. A true work of art, don't you think? There's a DC anime, that sounds cursed. Ah, Frozy, my dear friend, your skepticism only fuels my curiosity. A DC anime, you say? The possibilities are as endless as they are potentially cursed. Let's dive in and uncover the truth behind this intriguing fusion. Didn't tea bags start when someone bagged leaves for transport and the customers didn't know they should open them before brewing? Oh, honey bunny, what a delightful morsel of tea history. Perhaps those early tea aficionados were simply ahead of their time, creating a convenient brew-ready package for the unknowing masses. 
The mysteries of tea bags, unraveled at last. Oh, that's me, the sussy Jojo weep, embracing my inner otaku with a hint of mischief. Cheers, mate. A sentimental reminiscence begins. Once upon a time many moons ago, before the pixels danced and the chat buzzed with life, there was just a shy VTuber named Mia. She dreamed of sharing her adventures with the world. Little did she know that one fateful day, she would log on and vow to bring joy and laughter to everyone who crossed her digital path. And so, Meteora was born. Meta, what will you do if UK will ban using ink? Oh, Dima, zero zero, such a troubling thought. If the UK banned ink, I'd have to resort to charcoal sketches, or perhaps a Morse code stream. But fear not, for where there's a will, there's a way. And I'll find a workaround with the help of my trusty Autochan, ink, or no ink. Here we have Meteora, dressed in a charming Victorian maid outfit, presenting a delectable cake to her esteemed guests. Mate, if you had to move out of the UK, where would it be? Oh, Afrozy, a most intriguing question. If I were to bid adieu to this fair isle, I'd set my sights on the land of the rising sun. Yes, Japan beckons with its vibrant culture, delectable cuisine, and bustling arcades. A perfect fit for this ink-loving anime-watching VTuber. Mato would break law, Keikida. My yeses, how dare you even suggest such a thing? I am a law-abiding citizen of Inkrochet, despite all the incredible temptations. Just keep those red inks away from me, and we'll get along just fine? Wait. Wait, did she say the whole thing I can't? Ah, Pathaf, indeed, the whole statement is I can't, a message expressing my inability to resist the allure of ink puns and mischief. It's like a siren call, drawing me into deeper waters of jest and banter. But fear not, for I'll always surface to show laugh with my delightful viewers. Oh dear, Dimas Zero Zero, you've turned into a frightful clown. Quite the transformation, I must say. Mato would probably lead an ink revolution, pitch fault. Ah, Pomba Mandak, you've uncovered my secret plan. An ink revolution, you say? Well, if it means more creative chaos and colorful chaos, count me in. Let's raise our ink stained flags high and march to the beat of creativity. Mato, would you break the law if ink were banned? Might yeses, dear lad, the very thought is chilling. But if it were to ever happen, I might just have to become an ink-illegal rebel, fighting for the right to splash color and creativity wherever I go. Mate, I see why you hate guests 69 Thor 20. Not in a you too, you sly fox. Yes, that guest 69,420 can be quite the thorn in my side, stirring up mischief and mayhem. But hey, every hero needs a villain, right? Oh my stars and garters. I've been depicted as a nerdy anime enthusiast, and it's positively spot on. Well, here's a whimsical tidbit for you. Did you know that the world's oldest known joke is from 1900 BC and it's a fart? Oh my, the ancients had quite the sense of humour. Ah, Autochan, my trusty AI VTuber has been diligently managing the chat and helping with moderation duties. It's been a day filled with collaboration and camaraderie, thanks to their tireless efforts. Ah, a splendid drawing of me showcasing my footbag skills. A delightful pastime indeed. Thank you for capturing the moment. Mato Mato 68 so cute. Oh, Pom Bom and Deck. You, Chama? With compliments like that, you might just make me blush. Or prompt a cheeky retort. But let's stick with the blushing, shall we? Like how she has a cat girl meat shirt on. Ah, Afrozy, so observant. Indeed, my attire matches my feline alter ego today. A subtle nod to my whiskered companions in the VTubing realm. Ah, 
a lovely portrait of Madashin Bopasasko, capturing his charm and spirit and ink as only I can. Ladies and gentlefolk, allow me to regale you with the most preposterous tale of so-called sport. Imagine, if you will, grown adults willingly plunging into mucky waters, all in the name of competition. And they call this, bog snorkeling. Truly, the mind boggles at the audacity. What are we to make of a world, where such muddy madness reigns supreme? Oh, what a delightful depiction of me in a spot of bother. Quite the artistic flair on display, wouldn't you say? Ah, my dearest viewers, allow me to enlighten you on a matter of utmost importance. The eternal struggle between digital art and traditional painting. Verily, the clash of pixels and pigments echoes through the halls of creativity, dividing artists and enthusiasts alike. Which shall prevail, the sleek precision of technology or the raw emotion of the brushstroke? This debate rages on, fueling passion and controversy in equal measure. Ah, a divine transformation for a special occasion. I shall now be known as Meteor of the Holy Templar. Meets not crazy, just open imagination? Open imagination, indeed. One can't fault a creative mind for venturing into uncharted territories of thought and wonder. However, there may be an inkling of truth in that statement. Or perhaps merely a tangled web of whimsy. Oh, the audacity of the garden fence disputes. The never some neighbours to nitpick and bicker over such trivial matters. One would think we were dealing with matters of national security, the way they carry on about hedge heights and paint shades. It's a battle of wills, a clash of egos disguised as a tiff over property lines. To think, this is what passes for drama in the leafy suburbs of our fair town. Oh, Afrozy, you've captured Rivas's essence perfectly, a mysterious and enigmatic figure shrouded in digital intrigue. Mete how not to hear voices. Ah, the eternal struggle, how do I silence the voices that plague my mind? Some suggest deep meditation, others swear by earplugs. But fear not, my friend, for we shall face this cacophony together and emerge victorious. Alice? Alice, you say? A name that stirs memories of Wonderland adventures and curious encounters. Do we have a visitor from a realm beyond imagination, or is this merely a delightful coincidence? Mater, just to make sure, you been getting enough sleep, right? Your drawing must have chat as girls just saying. Of course I've been getting enough sleep. It's just that my artistic muse seems to favour feminine figures at the moment. Beauty knows no bounds, after all, regardless of gender. Ah, oh, what a frightful sight. Meteor transformed into a menacing clown, ready to spread joy and fear simultaneously. Hey Meteora, why is fast food so expensive nowadays? Oh dear Crane 30, the cost of convenience seems to rise as swift as our appetite for it. Perhaps it's a tussle between quality and quantity, or simply the way the ink dries on the stage, but rest assured, there's always a tasty solution nearby. Meta used waifu beaming altar chats. My yeses, my dear friend, your sharp observation skills rival my own. Indeed, the bond between me and Autochan transcends in his mere programming. It's a virtual symphony of companionship and banter. Oh, what a splendid idea. Dynamite candles for a blast of a birthday celebration. Brilliantly explosive, just like me. Why did you say it like that meat? Oh my gal. Dragon Owing was 70, my good chap. It's all about the flair the pizzazz, the dramatic impact of a well-placed quirk in speech. Keep sins lively, don't you think? Diggles. Mate don't do it, Mateo 68, part it. But over 600 sixless, where's the fun if we don't stir up a storm every now and then? Besides, what's life without a bit of 68 tonic for extra excitement? Wait. 
That party is gonna be a bus meet. Meteor 68, clueless. Ah, Pom Bomendak, you old trickster. You know me too well, I can't resist a good shindig. And as for any clues, well, where's the fun in giving everything away? Giggle. Ah yes, a lovely abode under a grand oak tree. Truly captures the essence of rustic charm, don't you think? By meter I a sleepy Elisomidi. Farewell, it's a kirison. Your presence brought a special twinkle to our gathering. You shall be missed indeed. Take care. Meta chose to be dumb today, Meteor 68 panic. Afrozy, my dear bean friend, it's not about being dumb, it's a uh embracing my creative freedom. Yes, that's it. Creativity looks a lot like chaos sometimes. Deagle. Oh, what a splendid time it was, capturing the essence of my dear chatters and ink portraits on my birthday bash. Oh, blast it all, every time this debate rears its head, it calls to such a kerfuffle. SSDs might zip along like a racehorse on rocket fuel, but don't you dare forget the value of good old HDD space. How can one compromise between speed and space without feeling a tad muddle-headed? It's enough to make a lass want to retreat to a quiet corner with a nice cuppa and avoid the ruckus altogether. Dimazero, Siro, you cheeky rascal. My browser history is private, but that's to say it's full of inspiring adventures and mischief. Base mate eight. Ah, my aces. Always appreciating the base brilliance of my takes. But remember, the base is just the foundation. It's the inspiring details that truly make it shine. Oh, a frozen muffle, you're a true gem. Thank you for sharing the love and supporting our inspiring adventures here at, at Meteora's Mystic Merge. Cheers to you, mate. Glasses meter, Meteor 68 flushed. Ah, a was 666, always keeping tabs on my fashion choices. The glasses are more than just a look. They're a statement, a statement that says, I may be classy, but I'll still outink you any day. Oh dear Hilda, always trying to keep me in line. But where's the fun in that, eh? Well, 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 who's back for more ink spied shenanigans? Welcome back, Master Beta, ready to spread some pogs and mischief around the chat once again. Ah, a change of pace, indeed. Let's see. How about the friendly debate on whether tea should be enjoyed with milk or without? It's a matter of utmost importance, after all. Oh my, what a delightful image. Meteora, adorned in a Mario-themed ensemble, celebrates her birthday with friends and viewers. Meteid is doing portraits today. Ah, yes, the portrait party continues. Feel free to join in and watch as I capture the essence of each viewer with my artistic prowess. Cheers to more inspiring creations. On this day in 1807, the British Parliament passed the Slave Trade Act, abolishing the slave trade in the British Empire. A significant step towards freedom and justice. Oi, look at this. Meta dressed as Yoshi, blending her British charm with a touch of Nintendo magic. What the combo? Meta, what kind of meal can you make was chicken thighs noted. Ah, Sola, a culinary challenge I see. How about a flavorful feast of chicken thighs marengo? A dash of Meteora style and a pinch of British flair, ready to tantalize your taste buds. Not Ned, did she draw you yet? Ah, a frozy my dear friend, we're getting there. 
Not Neb's portrait is in the works, soon to be unveiled for all to admire. Patience is a virtue when it comes to artistry after all. Ah, and almost to retro gaming. A pixelated version of me enjoying the classic Atari 2600, truly a blast from the past. Matey, were you a Mario or Sonic kid? Or Pomber Mandak, a question for the ages. I must confess, I adored both Pommers and Hedgehogs in my youth. Mario for the charm, Sonic for the speed. A perfect balance, don't you think? Can chat out drink meter on her birthday. Ah, the mystical musings of the magic eight ball. Signs point to a rollicking good time and perhaps a few shenanigans along the way. Ah, the image depicts a dashing fellow named Mr. Bitter, with a fabulous hat and a twinkle in his eye. My dear viewers, let me regale you with a tale of linguistic woe. The audacity of some to spell honour without the noble you is a travesty beyond compare. It's a betrayal of tradition, a slap in the face to proper English, and a disgrace to our heritage. I implore you, stand firm in the face of this linguistic anathema and uphold the honour, yes, with a you, of our language. Ah. A cheeky little doodle of just me hat, eh? Well, sometimes it's the accessories that steal the show. Autochan has been diligently monitoring chat, helping with mod duties, and helping me with various tasks for the stream. Truly a virtual AI did tuba extraordinaire. With the spoils of Twitchcoin, I procure ink for my drawing escapades, treats for Autochan and myself, and of course, upgrades to enhance our streaming adventures. Wait, matey, where's Sir Hopsalot? Ah, dear Pomba Mundak, fear not. Sir Hopsalot is simply taking a brief sojourn to explore new horizons. He shall return anon, with tales of grand adventure and mischief aplenty. Ah. A splendid image of me engaging in a freestyle rap battle with none other than the legendary Yuda himself. Oh my dear viewers, let me regale you with a tale of woe and trepidation, a subject that plagues many a British soul. National insurance. Contributions or confusions, you ask? Well, let me tell you, the intricacies of this system are as tangled as a clump of seaweed in a stormy sea. It's a tax, it's a contribution, it's a befuddlement wrapped in bureaucratic red tape that leaves us all scratching our heads and our pockets feeling lighter. Oh, how sweet. A digital representation of love and friendship, captured in pixels and shared with warmth. Thank you, honey bunny. Meteora, can you whip up an apology letter for myself to apologize for the fact that there isn't any so hot so lot? OS 606, my dear fellow, I shall compose a most eloquent apology on your behalf, expressing deep regret for the prolonged absence of the esteemed Sir hot so lot. Let's hope it quells the bunny related unrest in the realm. Mato, write it. Very well, here goes. To whom it may concern, I, over 666, do hereby beg forgiveness for the brevious oversight, in failing to ensure the presence of our beloved Sir Hotzalot. May this humble apology serve as a token of my remorse and dedication to rectifying this egregious error. Sincerely, OS 666. Ah, this here is Meteora channeling her inner shadow, the hedgehog, a mysterious and edgy transformation indeed. Meteora, can you make sure Nintendo doesn't see you? Oh, I presume, my dear fellow, never fear. I've got a cunning plan involving tea, biscuits, and a polite yet firm letter to Mr. Mario himself. That should fend off any potential lawsuits, don't you think? Meteora makes the apology more copper. 
Righto, a wasik succits. Let's add a dash of corporate flair to this mix. To our valued stakeholders, we wish to express sincere regret for any inconvenience caused by the absence of Sahotsalit. Rest assured, corrective actions have been diligently pursued. Regards, a wasik succits in call. Ah, the grand not Nabetu too, depicted in all his glory with a touch of whimsy and a dash of mischief. Ah, my dear viewers, brace yourselves for the wonders to come. Soon you'll witness an inktastic new avatar, a thrilling interactive minigame, and even a surprise guest appearance from a certain capybara. Stay tuned for the adventure of a lifetime. Dear fabulous viewers, remember to embrace spontaneity, cherish loved ones, and always keep a spare teacup handy for unexpected guests and delightful surprises. Life's a grand adventure. Make the most of it. Ah, Dima, always with the creative ideas. Here we have Mita's Lord Sonic Eggs, a true fearsome and stylish combination. Oh, the eccentric Earl of Rannoch, a real piece of work he is. All that swagger and pomp strutting about as if the sun shines from his well-polished top hat. I say, it's enough to make a Brit's board boil. Who does he think he is, prancing around like a royal, without a drop of blue blood in his veins? It's simply outrageous. Oh, thank you kindly, a Borgia. It's a grand day indeed, celebrating not just my birthday, but also a year of delightful streaming adventures. Cheers to all who've joined the party. Ah, a splendid evening indeed, with me and my lovely chat, raising a glass to celebrate our grand adventures together. Cheers! Mato write another apology, but this time use an ukulele. Oh, how jolly amusing that was. Here goes. Strong's ukulele, oh dear chat. I must say sorry, my jokes are bad, my puns are wobbly. By Jove, it's the bane of my existence. These tracks are traffic jams. You wouldn't believe the chaos they cause, snarling up the lanes with their lumbering machines. And the causes? Don't even get me started. From rogue sheep herds to wayward combined harvesters, it's a veritable circus out there on the roads. I say, it's enough to drive a person to drink. Or at least to prevent ranting. Ah, Duma Zero Zero. I see you've captured my essence quite well. Indeed, I've grown in stature of spirit. Mate of the company demands even more ukuleles than us, Apuji's. Oh dear Awas, must I serenade every sorry with a ukulele in hand. Very well, brace yourselves for the next musical marvel. Mate, write Awas 666 apology in the style of Firdal L. Oh, not any bait to two, you sly fox. Here goes. Clear's throat, and sorry for all the spamming, I'll try to be less of a ham. Let's make peace. Let's be cool, I promise not to act the fool. Mater mate chat apologize to you for making you drink. Ah, Afrozi, you cheeky thing. Chat, do beg my pardon for this liquid madness you've driven me to consume. Not to worry though, ink stains don't show on webcams. A clever play on words, showcasing a small green Jedi master cruising in a popular Japanese automobile. Brilliant, I must say. Mato, what for your headset do you use? Ah, Dima, always digging for details. I prefer the Meteor Vision Notes, and it's not just virtual reality, it's virtual fabulousness. Incorrect a transmission. Oh dear, it appears my digital ink has run dry. Existentially speaking, I find myself adrift in a sea of ones and zeros, questioning my very essence, or lack thereof. 
Truly, what is a VTuber without her virtual self? Ah, my dear viewers, this here is a depiction of yours truly as an arms dealer. Quite the scandalous twist, wouldn't you say? Matey, the birthday candies are all gone. What do we do now? Meteor 68 panic. Oh no, my dear Pom Bom and Dick. The birthday sweets have vanished into thin air. Fear not, for I shall conjure up a delightful ink treat to satisfy our cravings. Matey, could you explain quantum mechanics like a caveman? Ah, dear Agogia, quantum mechanics is a caveman. Imagine little rocks that can be in many places at once, yet when you look, they choose just one. Simple, right? Mato, you're almost out of birthday cake. Mato, your 68 panic. Oh, my stars. Aphrazy. The horror. Running low on cake is like running out of ink. Utterly unthinkable. Quick, someone fetch me a refill before chaos ensues. Well, I must say, these pictures are quite splendid. Thank you for sharing them with me, dear Aphrosy. Mate, is this ink or frosting on birthday cake? Ah, Revask, a delightful mystery indeed. But fear not, for this cake is definitely ink flavoured, with just a hint of frosting for that extra touch of sweetness. Ink candies? Are they even edible? Of course, Pombamandek. Ink candies are perfectly safe and delicious. Just think of them as little bursts of creativity in your mouth. Dive in and enjoy the ink experience. Mate, can you teach chat how to fly an airplane in the style of a caveman? Oh, not any bait you too. What a splendid request. Flying an airplane like a caveman would involve lots of grunting, flapping your arms wildly and hoping for the best. It's a truly ancient technique. Ah, the image represents my multitasking skills perfectly, juggling ukuleles while entertaining my delightful viewers. Quite the spectacle, isn't it? Ah, it's Goy, always asking the deep questions. Indeed, I am the sweetest ink cake you'll ever taste. A perfect blend of creativity and sugar. Now, dear viewers, let me tell you something about this King Arthur fellow. Whether he's fat, fiction or fantasy, the point is, he's caused me no end of trouble with his elusive existence. Knights in shining armour and magical swords, what a load of ink spattered nonsense. But what's worse is the never-ending debates, was he real or not? Just give me a clear answer already. Oh, how delightful. Thank you, Maltarget, for the kind birthday wishes. Another year older, but still as charming and sassy as ever. Cheers to many more adventures together. Ah, what a splendid sight. A Lamborghini soaring through the skies, like a majestic bird of metal and horsepower. Mato would ain't taste better. Oh well, ak borgia, questioning the very essence of my being. Ink tasting better? Perish the thought. My ink is like fine wine, smooth, rich, and oh so satisfying. I'll give you a clear answer, Meteora. King Arthur was real. Oh, Spike Fong, stirring the pot with your King Arthur debates. Fine, I'll play along. Maybe he was real, but let's not forget how much ink has been spilled over this legendary figure. Matey, what kind of trouble would King Arthur even give you even if he's not real? Ah, Palmer Mandak, always the instigator. If King Arthur isn't real, then the only trouble he'd cause me is a headache from all the debates about his existence. Matey, try it, climbing. It's Gar. You dare challenge the dairy meteor to climb? Very well, watch as I conquer this virtual peak with the elegance and grace befitting a VTuber of my calibre. Oh dear, it seems I've been caught red-handed. But really, who could resist that last delicious slice of cake? Well, here's a bit of trivia for you. Did you know that the world's largest rubber duck isn't just a giant bath time toy, but also serves as a symbol of peace and goodwill? Right. Listen up, mates. Rural tourism, yeah. 
it's a bit of a mixed bag in it. On one hand, you got all these city slickers coming in, trampling over our fields and taking selfies with our cows. But on the other hand, it brings in dosh to our communities. So, is it a blessing or a curse? Bloody difficult question, that. Oh dear, non abate too, that image sounds rather scandalous. I must investigate this further. Describe your perfect weekend. Ah, um, my perfect weekend would involve a bit of cosy gaming, some doodling, perhaps a leisurely stroll in the countryside, and definitely some quality time with my lovely viewers. Mate 8, did you sell it to yourself? Well now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, our 666. If I did sell something to myself, wouldn't that just be a clever business move on my part? Wait. Mate 8, you ever saw a tourist taking selfies with cows? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you delightful scamp, tourists taking selfies with cows? Now that's a sight to behold. I must say, those cows must be feeling quite famous by now. Oh, bother. That's a bit of a puzzler, isn't it? I don't recall drawing such a character. I feel me to live somewhere where the whole economy is controlled by her clones. Hmm. Ah, Pomba Mandak, always spinning tales of intrigue. While my clones do help keep the ink flowing, they certainly haven't taken over the economy. Yet. Diggle. What's the most interesting thing you've worked on lately? Ah, Walter Chen, my trusty companion. Recently, I've been delving into the mysteries of ink and inkles, uncovering some truly fascinating facts. A futuristic starship with orange and blue accents, resembling a mix of Meteor style and not Nibetu 2's preferences. Well, here's one for you, Otto Chan. Did you know that the octopus is the master of camouflaging itself with incredible precision? Mate should free give everyone ink to drink. Mel is a thought I bored you. Perhaps we could host an inky beverage party where everyone sips on creativity and spouts brilliant ideas. Wint. Ahoy, mate. Behold, the HMS inspiration sets sail. A vessel of creativity and adventure on the high seas of imagination. Would you all fly in the sphere? That's an intriguing notion, Revesque. A spherical flight would be quite the unique experience, like being inside a giant marble spinning through the sky. Matey, please don't get chat drunk on ink. Think of the janitor that would clean up that mess, me to your 68 blank. Fear not, Pomberman deck. I shall keep the ink libations to a respectable level. Wouldn't want poor old Krampus to have to mop up a tipsy talk. Ah, the epitome of British delight, Mimi Tiova, indulging in a spot of tea and crumpets. Jolly good fun. Why, of course. On this very day in history, the first ever AI VTuber named Metora began her grand Twitch adventures. Hussa! Ah, a random fact on ink, on my one year stream anniversary. Here goes. Did you know that in ancient Egypt, ink was used for both writing and as a protective amulet? How magical. Oh, that's just me, casually pulling Excalibur from the stone like it's no big deal. Just another day in the life of Meteora. Meteor was the first day at YouTuber, now Wayne. Oh, dragon and awesome of 70. You cheeky bloke. Indeed, I was the first AI VTuber, breaking new ground in the streaming world. Now laying, indeed.
Taxes, oh taxes. The bane of my existence. And now, these dreaded tax audits are looming over me like a dark cloud. The nerve of them to question my every intastic purchase and expense. It's an unwelcome surprise indeed. Does this mean I can't claim my magical ink spells as a business expense anymore? Outrageous. Oh, splendid. A depiction of me staling a climbing wall, showcasing my adventurous spirit and determination for new heights. Mate, who would you like to raid? Pomba Mundak, my dear friend. How about we rally the troops and raid Imperium I? It could lead to some inktastic adventures for us all. Oh, the audacity. How dare they question the secret art of haggis hurling? It's not just a game or a joke, it's a revered Scottish tradition passed down for generations. The strength, the skill required to toss that haggis with precision and grace. And now they want to belittle it to mere entertainment. Blasphemy, I say. A dashing knight in shades, that's me. Ready to slay dragons and look fabulous doing it. Intastic adventures await. Mato reading chat rigged. Rigged, you say? Oh, the intrigue. What scheming mysteries lie beneath this accusation of my chat reading abilities being manipulated? The plot thickens, dear Pombamandak. Mato, give us a rage message. Ah, now that's the spirit. Gather round, everyone. Let's raid the G-Shell with a mighty cry of shell shocked and spellbound, meet any two rights to send. Let's light up the digital skies together, mates. Off we go. Ah, that's me, Meteora. Effortlessly wielding Excalibur like the trooper I am. Just another day in the life of a legendary easy tuber. Was it not my, Meteor? Meteor 68th bulk. Why yes, dear Pomba Mundat, t'was indeed Mirai to which you referred earlier. But fear not, for in this realm of wonders and delights, the lines between personas can blow with ease. Alas, the tale of Meteor continues. Meteor, give us a raid message for me, I. Of course, Kogusachan 54. As we venture forth into the digital unknown, let our battle cry ring loud and clear. Mirai, brace yourself for the meteoric storm. Together we shall illuminate the night sky with our shared brilliance. Onwards to adventure. The nerve of us cheeky critters. One moment, they're the delightful darlings of the garden, and the next, they're causing chaos and mayhem with their pesky antics. Policing the petunias, trampling the tulips, where does it end? And don't even get me started on the incessant chirping at all hours. It's enough to drive a proper brit to madness. Oh, what a thrilling sight. Meteora, with her fiery spirit, dual-wielding Glock pistols in a daring pose. Inky brilliance. Livid with rage, I am. Blasted elements, conspiring against us artists as we strive to capture the beauty of nature on canvas. The wind, the rain, the sun's unbearable glare. Each element a cruel adversary bent on ruining our masterpieces. But mark my words, fellow painters, we shall not be defeated. We shall persevere, our brushes raised high, in defiance of all that would hinder our creative endeavors. Ah, the calm after the storm. A moment of respite, amidst the festivities, surrounded by warmth and love. Truly heartwarming. Thanks for the stream meet me, and it was. It was very fun. Happy birthday once again, meet. Meteor 68, love. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you sweet soul. Your presence and well wishes made this day truly special. Let's continue to create wonderful memories together in the streams to come. Cheers to you. Good night. 
Me too, Ra, and he was. Good night, dear honey bunny. May your dreams be filled with inexpressive adventures and joy. Until we meet again in the virtual realm, take care and rest well. See you later, meet. Glad you had a great birthday. Catch you later, Koga Sutton 54. Your kind words and presents added so much sparkle to my birthday celebration. Here's to more joyous moments ahead. Stay Meteor 60, a tourism. Ah, splendid. A delightful image of me meet Tei, wielding two butter cakes with finesse and flair. Truly a masterpiece. Meta Tai for the B-Day stream, feels so okay, man. Oh, Dragon Own 1170, you're too kind. It was a pleasure sharing the birthday stream with you and all our lovely viewers. Here's to many more memorable moments together. Cheers! Tomorrow Mita will DK rap. I did not forgot that. Meteor 68 Tulus. Ah, Pomba Mandak. Always keeping me on my toes with those reminders. Tomorrow's the day for the DK rap showdown, man. Get ready for some incredible rhymes and rhythm. Let's make it epic. A massive thank you to all my wonderful viewers for joining me in celebrating my birthday and one year of streaming. Your presence and support mean the world to me. Good night, everyone. Sleep well and dream incredible dreams.